Nicks and bruises, diehard Knicks fans, we are back. Shout out to the chat. Yo, Black, is time. It's a crossover. It's a watch long. It's a gender reveal party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to nothing but Nick's the caller. The, the, who was it? What's the caller's name? Nick. You got to give him credit. Shout out to Nick. Yeah. Yeah, Nick the call on on nothing but Nick. He he shot it. He said the it was a gender reveal. That that's the perfect way to describe this this game right here, man. So who's gonna win tonight? Who's you know how how are the Knicks are gonna defend against these two teams? How are the Knicks gonna play against these two teams? So that's what we gotta feel. That's what we gotta fill out here with this with this watch along here. And uh, let's see. It's first quarter. Seven minutes, fifty one seconds left, and the score is, I believe, four to two. So I'm gonna share the score to you for in, in a second, and you go, you go on, you can put it on. But um, you know, on the watch alongs, I get a little ignorant, man. So you know, right now I got I got my my gun, so I gotta let it go. You know what I'm saying? This is Knicks. This is Knicks and Bruises, the higher Knicks, doing a watch along for for Philly and Miami. So we're trying to figure out who we're gonna play against, man. And um, that's all I gotta say. I, I was gonna say some f bombs, but let me just keep it. Keep hey, that to hey, us. hey, it, it's a crossover, man. So be yourself. <laughs> You know what I mean? Viewer, ex uh, viewer, ex how you say it? Um, viewer discretion is advised. There you huh? go. Thank you. There you go. Oh snap! That's what I'm trying to say. Oh man. So you've but, been looking um, at the game. So what, what's, your, what's your early thoughts on what you're seeing? Uh, a defensive fest for sure. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, almost four minutes gone by, and low scoring game. My bad. My my phone shut off for a second. So let me um. That's the technical difficulties with the these damn yeah. live podcasts, man. And, you can, and you I, can do I don't know why. So I'm thinking it's because like I'm not in that actually in that room and I'm backstage. So maybe that's why I just gotta periodically touch my phone, make sure I don't time out. But okay. um, other than that, man, we, we it looked like we should be good to go. Joe and B just. Shot a running jump shot and fell on the floor. You know, I'm gonna be watching for that. How many times does he fall on the floor? <laughs> and, and, and you know, how quickly he gets back up. He got up pretty quickly on that play. Looks like Bam was called for a foul, a push off. You know, I I, I mentioned in the other part. I, I think it's so. I think it's easier to guard these guys because you know they they rely heavily too. They rely too much on MB when he's out there. They actually play better to me when Embiid's not playing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So when, when he's there, the ball is in his hands. So it's like the defense could kind of like take it easy. Or, you know, and then the offense, you could just do your thing on offense. You know, that, well, that's, that's I mean, how I'm looking at it. And, and, and this is not my belief, nor am I saying it is yours, but this is the argument for the people who, you know, dislike Julius Randle. You know, they, they, they talk about with his absence, how the ball moves. Or more or moves better but the argument the flip side of that is um you know with randall off the court we have to move the ball better because we don't have another guy other than brunson obviously that could create his own shot and create for others so you, you know what i mean so i i think that's um would be a good comparison in in the fact that you know what i mean you're saying that it moves better without mb i think it has to because yeah. you, you know they don't have that other guy other than Maxi who could kind of create for himself and others. So that, that might be the gift and the curse for the Knicks too by by losing Julius because now it, just, it it let everybody get open. So I think that's 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 like the the, the big part of the excitement too because when Julius was out, everybody else got to get their shit off, you know. So then when Julius was coming back, now Julius got to fit into what we're doing. So that's that mm -hmm. was exciting. So I'm, I'm kind of sad that we weren't able to get that, you know. The the one thing I will say though. During that 13 and one stretch, you know, in, in, in January, the ball was still moving, you, you know what I mean? So, so it, it was looking the best it ever did with Randall on the, on the floor. And, and I do think, you know, some fans f tend to forget that. Yeah. So see, see if you can share the score there. I, I put it up on the, on the oh, thing. Yep. I got you. Boom. There you go. Nine to two. Um, it's a little behind, right? But that'll keep you yeah, guys. I'll, I'll refresh. Uh, yeah, I'll refresh. You know, a, a little informed. Yep, there you go. So, man, yeah, this is fun, man. This is That's what you do. 
the the watch alongs. I, I'm 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 interested. I don't know if I'll ever do it. You know what I mean? But I, I'll definitely uh be more inclined to join you. Um, you know, now that we got a system and, and how we could watch it together and be on the same queue. Yeah, this is the issue here, you know, because I mean, if I if I'm running the pod, if we're doing it, you, you we will have to do it exactly how we're doing it now. You know what I'm saying? In order in order for it to work, because okay. it, it puts a lot of strain on the system. You know, it's not like we're network television or whatever. There's just two guys in, you know, in their house and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got cats walking behind you and shit. I got like little kids and all kind of stuff walking around and stuff. You know, so it's interesting. Absolutely. Um, switch, switch the camera thing. The, 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 the oh remote. yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Pardon me, I gotta move my phone. I'm watching on my phone. Uh, which one do we like? You like that one? Nah. The one with the, the bigger the bigger screens. There you go. Um, all right. So see it's a little bit better, a little bit bigger. Yep, yep. So it looks like there's a timeout. Not sure who, who called it. Was it delay a game or something? We missed something. Yeah, uh no, maybe either delay a game or three second. Yeah. And then they want to review something. Something happened there, they throw in the review sign up. Mm. Or they just calling the play. Yeah, I, I might have missed it. You know, so the thing like, about these watch alongs too is that while you watching, like, I forget who's who. So I got to get like another thing so I can see, oh, who, who this guy is and all this. Everybody <laughs> looks the same, you know, when everybody's yep. playing. All right. Miami just got the rebound off a of missed shot. Hero looks like pulled the three. He missed. And Both teams are trying, like to, trying to take advantage of the fast break a little bit. Oh, there you go. Butler with a steal on the fast break. Got to get this scoreboard up here. They've been, so, uh, Miami's, so. they, 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 they've been using that kid, um, uh, Jovic, a lot. Yeah. Um. Is he a rookie or no, he's second? He's been year? around for a minute. They, they they just now they just starting to use him. A lot use him, more. okay. He's just, yeah, he's their starting power forward right now. All right, eight to sixteen. Philly just hit a three. Doubled up on them. Get on the baseline. Who's Tyler, Hero? Hero. Tyler Hero was the guy that they missed last year, right? The last yeah, couple absolutely. years. Absolutely. So Terry Rozier was out tonight. I'm not That's sure amazing. why. Yeah, anybody in the chat know why Terry Rozier's out? Look at this. Another one. Yeah, do you see what I mean by that? Like MB loves to get the get the ball at the foul line. And he does his work by the foul line, and then it's to the point where, like the other team, like the on both off offense and defense, like the offense is kind of sitting back watching. They they can't mm -hmm. even tell MB that somebody's coming behind him just to, to pick his pocket. It's crazy. <laughs> it's funny because it's another parallel, right? We were talking about Randall. <laughs> right. Yeah, because Randall will bring right. the ball down, get into the pinch post, and start dribbling the air out the ball, that type of thing. I mean, that's the, the. It looks like that's the strategy. They they're playing the Randall strategy on MB right now. Yeah. But look, look how easy that is, man. All you got to do is close the door on MB, put two guys to to make him make him um to confuse him, and then send somebody back door to steal it to pick his pocket. Look how easy that was. Absolutely. Hmm. So now they seem like they're just driving and kicking. That's it, really. Not Tobias Harris has to go one on one. Um, good bucket. He's been probably one of the biggest disappointments like throughout the league, as far as like <laughs> the money he got, the position he was in to not even have to be the first second option, and and you know, still never lived up to big moments. Yeah, they signed it to too much, man. You know. He's part of that. He's part of that. Pay me now stuff, you know. Oh, pay that man. Pay that man. You know that type of dumb shit. You know that, that that's what gets teams in trouble. Shout out! Shout out to the uh, 
the Philadelphia podcasters uh, as well. I watch one of their uh, roundtables with like four four of their guys, and um, you know, one of them had 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 mentioned a tweet that he read that said, "Oh, wouldn't it be great if Tob- uh, Tobias Harris gets like the game winner against Miami and then says yes, me over Butler." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm just like, uh, wouldn't it be like a couple years too late? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my bad. <laughs> nah, you I, just hit, I just hit the um. I hit. I had crazy echoes. Do you hear echo? Yes. Yes. Oh my god! Get out of here, echo. It's like we in the cave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Like yeah, I've been wanting to use these things, and then every time, like, 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 I don't want to use them, I accidentally hit it, and then I can't turn it off. You know how many times this happened? <laughs> or, or like, I'm doing it. I have a whole bit that I want to do on a pod, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm doing this. Everybody's like, oh, why are you talking like that? You, like, so, oh, y'all don't hear the effect? I was like, oh, snap! So now I look like an asshole because I'm doing like the ooh like this, and people are like, yeah, why are you talking like that? <laughs> oh, because the effect isn't working. Now it's working today. I hit it by accident. Now it's working. It's so annoying, man. Like, yo, what did Eru take? <laughs> He's on something right now. <laughs> For real, man. Shout out to the chat. Who's who's in the chat right now? Uh, let's see. We got Daniel Breeze Sports Highlights, Almighty Finesse, Bobby Santiago, Nostalgic Nick, uh, De La Music 50. I don't think I missed it. I miss anybody. Uh, who else I see? No, that's it. Geraldine, salute, salute. You got um, Daniel Berry Sports, too? Yep. Shout out to Dale of Music, man. Where you at, man? You in Brooklyn watching the game? You toasty right now? You toasty? <laughs> you know Dale, right? He, he's, he's come to like a, a, few to, a few of the get-togethers. Red, um, next, next time. And that's the other thing I always need to say. A lot of times... um. People introduce themselves and they tell us their real name, and right. I always forget to ask like, "What's your name?" in the chat. So, right. so you know what I mean. So that's why I be always getting getting confused. But salute, man! Salute to everybody here, everybody that pulls up to all these events. You know what I mean? It, it, it's always a blast. Yeah, but you know, it's funny that you say that because I went to um, Nick and Nader's event. Right, that, that's the guy from Twitter. So all the mm-hmm. Twitter guys, they know each other and stuff like that because they do Twitter spaces and stuff like that. I don't really do Twitter spaces, but I know some of these guys. But um, well, I, I'm introducing myself as Diehard Eru, and they're looking at me like, okay. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'm like, you know, but then I'm like, what's your name? And they tell I'm Steve. I'm John. But they know each other, Steve and John. But I, but their name is like, you know, Nick Fan Forever or whatever, whatever the hell. I know you as that. You know, yes. so it's kind of weird. It's like, yo, man, what is your Twitter handle, bro? I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> you know, and then they say, oh, I'm, I'm this. Oh, okay, now I know who yeah, you are. You know, know you are. Hey, hey, I'm Steve. Like, who the hell is Steve, bro? Like, I, you know, Dela Music. That's your name. You know, I know you as Dela Music. <laughs> you know, so that's Almighty a fact. Finesse is your name, man. You that's a fact. Oh, uh, Kev, go out. Salute. Yeah, man. Is, uh, Can you afford um, these tickets, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I I have the money like reserved, right? You know what I mean? I, I could do it for the Knicks. I could do it for the Knicks, but they're gonna have to do me do me one back and, and get to the final, get to the to the conference finals. <laughs> but that's you know the thing. Mean? We go to the first playoff game, but then if we go to the second round, now we gotta get another one. And then the, if you go to the third round, we got to get another. If you go to the finals, forget about it. So what are yeah. the prices of the tickets going to be by that time? You know? By the, yeah, I know. That's why. That's why I keep I keep debating with myself. But it looks like we're in a good position to where you know this may not be our first and only run. You know what I mean? So. Right. But yeah, I, I would be a little bit salty, but I know them. Them t- those tickets would be out of my price range, one hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely, one hundred percent. Like five hundred a ticket now. I can't. You know what I mean? They got. I don't think they'll double each round, but by the finals, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a stat. Yeah. 
that's when I'm going to start, you know, speaking to family members. Like, you know how much I'm a Nick fan, right? <laughs> Go for me accounts, right? Yeah, with, that's with a right. Sad video, like, with a sad video that goes with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's guys, right. I'm Dahad Eru. You know me as blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You know? Only a nickel a day, because he can save Nick fan. I did the math. <laughs> Three dollars a day from now into the finals. <laughs> That's crazy. Could get, could get me there with them. Mm-mm-mm. That's crazy. But yeah, you know, I was thinking too. You know, um, I was talking about it um the other day with with, with a coworker. Um, we were talking about the you know the price of tickets and stuff. But um, we was thinking about Patrick Ewing. Thirteen straight years in the playoffs. Could you imagine that? And every year, how crazy we get every time the playoffs hit. So then every year you got to come up with like all this bread just to watch these games. That's a lot of money, man. Well, the, the 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 good thing is back then, a lot of people were godfathered in, so so the price was the price for for right. for, for them. You know what I mean? It, it it was only going up for new season ticket holders and, and things of that nature. So right, um, you know, shout out to the people who've been doing it all these years because. They they get the best deals, you know what I mean? They get the best plans. They get, but yeah, them celebrities, they be dropping a pretty penny. Yeah, it's a misconception that those those guys are getting free tickets. Nah, they're paying for their tickets. A lot of those guys are paying for tickets. Sometimes if they have guests, you know, the guests for the for the night, they'll they'll get a free ticket. But mm-hmm. majority of people that are down there, they're paying for their tickets. Mm-hmm. You know, as they should. Right, because we gotta, know, you know, regular know, folks gotta pay. I know. Um, a lot of times too, it'd be corporations that have season tickets, and they'll give those out to people that they're uh, entertaining or or whatever. You know what I mean? Let's say it's a a law firm or or um, yeah, let's you know what I mean? A, a law firm they may have season tickets to the Knicks. You know what I mean? Every time they get a new client or they fly in a client in, they be like, "Hey, we gonna get you, we got you these." front row seats to the Knicks. So it may yeah. the 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 guest who has the seat may rotate um you know all the time. Yeah. You know my, my, my wife was doing she does real estate but you know they, they used to have um a Westchester Knicks tickets you know so like can you imagine trying to wine and dine somebody to get them a, to buy a house and you're sending them up to Westchester it's like oh <laughs> you know it's not really like the best you know perk right there but you know I get it though. I mean, you know, Nick's tickets it, it, are pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh where we at? 20 to 17, minute 05 in the uh, in the first quarter. Miami with the ball. The guy who hurt Randall just hit a three. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, you, you, the name is at the tip of your tongue, and you're just like, oh, the guy that, that fucked Randall up, you know, he just shot a three. Oh, no, that's his name from now on. Yeah. Like, like that. That's how I address him. Yeah, I'll be evacuate fast with number 11. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, when, you know, we the, the whole first quarter, we basically just kind of shooting the shit. But um, you know, we got thirty seconds left here. But you know, I was just looking at Della Music. He says we paid three fifty last year for that for that Cleveland game, and I think that's what it was. It was like three fifty, right? So it, it went up two hundred dollars, mm-hmm. man. That's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Yep. And 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 um, round two last year went up two hundred dollars. Oh wow. You, you what, know so, what I mean? so this year's gonna be seven hundred dollars for round two? That, and that's what I'm saying. I, I, you know what I mean? By the time we get to the Eastern Conference Finals, it's gonna be a stack. Man, the finals is gonna be fifteen hundred. <laughs> Thank God it's but not the nineties, par- man. Right. But the parade is free. You said the parade is free. <laughs> that's right. Well, if they got congestion pricing, then it won't be free, right? That's, I, I um, I'm not in the city. What is that? I heard about it, but I ain't really pay attention. Oh man, they they're gonna put like a tax for it. Like if you if you go south of, I think it's like 68th Street. Like it's you gotta pay fifteen dollars just to drive in that area. You know? Oh wow! Yeah, so wow. it's a big thing. It's supposed to go into effect, I think, in June. 
You know, but they're wow. still trying to. Everybody's fighting it because it's almost like unlawful, almost, man. I mean, they did that. They did that. They do it all the time, it, like with the bridges. You know, yeah. what I mean, I forgot what bridge it is, but they, they charge you fifteen dollars to to get on a bridge to you know what I mean to go to Lower Manhattan. And, well, the and, tunnel and, too, the Holland Tunnel. Tunnel Tunnel. Yeah. I'm like, yo, where, where did? First of all, I made a wrong turn. <laughs> like I, I, was, I was trying to go to the Bronx. Not, <laughs> <laughs> the most expensive and, and, turn. Bro, bro, yeah, I'm like, hey, yo, just just getting into the city. I'm spending bread. That you know what I mean? I was tight, yo. Are <laughs> oh, you talking about George Washington Bridge? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy with it. Sometimes uh, like you make you get on you be in the wrong lane and that now you in Jersey. Yep. Like, oh no, you know. I was so mad. Yeah, I was so mad. Oh man, that's that's back when I that's back when I was budgeting my trips. You know, (laughs) that fifteen dollars wasn't in the wasn't in the budget. That's crazy. But I mean, what what did they get off with that, man? They start they started off fifteen dollars right off the off the jump. Like other other places, they do like a dollar fifty here, mm-hmm. fifty cents here, maybe two dollars here. You know, this is like turnpike stuff. Like if you get off at this mm-hmm. exit, you got to pay the twenty five dollar toll or no, excuse me, twenty five cent toll, okay. one dollar yep. fifty toll. Where did they get fifteen dollars from? Just because it's, and, it's New York City. And and think about it. That's why um you know there was a class action lawsuit with the Easy Pass because. At that point, you don't even know what you're paying. You got your little, you know what I mean? Like, who who really monitors, you know what I mean, how much each toll is and what they're actually charging you, you know what I mean? But they was overcharging people or, or prices right. was going up without people's being being made aware. You, you right. know what I mean? So next thing you know, you you depleted your uh, easy pass. And um, I'm sorry, it looked like somebody went down. Is that Butler? He looks yeah, like he's Butler. holding Holding his knee. Yeah, he slid down. Oh, it looks like oh. Oh. Yeah, that's that's scary there. And he's still down. He's still holding his knee. Um, I don't wish injury upon anybody. No, definitely not. But that all right, he's 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 walking around gingerly. He is shaking Wait, his he's head. He's gotta make his free throws. If he makes ah, his free so throws, he, then, he, yeah. then he can go out. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If he shoots his free throws, he could come back. Basically, right. If he if he didn't, he wouldn't be able to come back. So we'll we'll see what happens after after he shoots him. If he stays in the game or if, if he needs a breather or something. Yeah. But he he always walks like that anyway. He walks like he just got off a horse anyway. You know, and, 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 and I've seen him do this. You, you know what I mean? And then and then play possum, and then next you know explode. For four or five plays in, in a row. Right. Oh, what I was it's that's the end of the quarter, so he's gonna get his rest regardless. We'll see if he um if he starts the second or not. Yeah. He probably just got shaken up, you know, kind of like uh, over exaggerating it a little bit. Like you said, um, that possum 20, thing. Twenty three twenty two defensive uh game for the most part in this first quarter, low scoring game. Um, kind of what I expected. Um, how about how about you? Yeah, that's what I expected too. Like in the beginning, it looked, looked like they were just like uh, feeling each other out, trying to figure out um, how to attack. You know who you know was was what they were going to allow to happen in the beginning. You know, but um, you know, eventually they kind of calmed down a little bit. But it, it was mostly scrappy st- scrappy plays out there. You know, a lot of steals and stuff, fast break stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody so, new in the chat? A uh, couple people. You got um Jackal there. Jackal's in the place. Salute, salute. Oh, I forgot about blowing the whole. Sc- oh, I don't gotta blow the screen up. Let's see how that look. Yeah, it's weird on my end because you know usually you know I see all the different things you know to to do so it's like kind of like bugged that I'm on my side. Oh yeah, when, when you're not uh, hosting. Yeah, I, I know. The, I, the I little clips and stuff, so I'm looking at it at a different, <laughs> different um you know angle kind of you know what I'm saying. So it's yep. kind of freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, I'm I'm not used I'm not used to that either. 
every time I got to jump on someone else's sh- show. Yeah. I still got my sound effects, though. <laughs> <laughs> so those work pretty good. That's what's up. Yeah. We got like a, um, what, what, what do you use for that? Got like a, a soundboard, you know. Soundboard, soundboard, that's what I was trying to say. And, and then you can add whatever you want. Yeah, I got to send it to you. The, this um this company is um you know they they make good products but they make cheap products you know the the products are, are not cheap but they're low priced you know what okay. I'm saying so you can get like the same effect that like a roadcaster roadcasters are like seven hundred dollars you know but this this thing that I'm using is only a hundred dollars okay you know but it basically does the same type of type of thing yeah yeah I'm def- definitely definitely want to add some some sound effects especially you could customize them you know what I mean it's another yeah, you do what you Another place I can start utilizing all my uh my my ideas that be stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, you're like the the what the mad scientist of uh of Nick podcasting, man. Sure. But nah, this is fun, man. I'm glad I'm glad we decided decided to do this. Were you gonna do a watch along anyway, or did, I was or, thinking about it. Okay. Well, I got a long day, man. I did. I did a quick pod before before you um you hit me up. I was actually doing a pod, so I got off, and then you hit me up to get on. I didn't realize that that was a live pod. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit. So that that was pod two. So this is pod number three tonight, and then um then we're gonna do um uh, the front stoop like around nine ish right there. Yep. So I, I'll do that pod, and then I'm gonna have to leave that pod to do another pod with um oh, with the morning brew guys at ten thirty, man. So I'm bugging out today. This is not what I. This is not what I had in mind, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna do five pods before the end of the night. That's crazy. I, I, re- I remember them days, man. It's far, far few in between anymore. But you know, it, it's good to you know spread your face around, let everybody know. No diddy, no diddy, <laughs> no, no, <and> no diddy. <laughs> All right, the quarter's begun. He had the ball up one. Want me to do some play by play, man? Yeah, yeah. I'll let you handle it. But Butler looks like he okay. He's full of shit, man. All these guys, <laughs> he, all these guys are full of shit. They, they, it's like it's a Broadway play. They, they're all playing like a role and stuff, you know. He playing possum. Yeah. What was it? Three seconds? It gotta be because nobody touched him. Yeah. You see how he got off the line too? He got off the line like like he like he was having a shooting pain down his down his body and stuff. Mm-hmm. But Bullshit. but just before he shot that three, he was looking all nice and uh fluent. Yeah. Like he looked fluent right now. Yeah. Not, ho- not hobbled. Oh, draw the file. Yeah, look, the lady looks perfect there. Um, how much do you think Butler is in Philadelphia's head? In particular, you know, Embiid, Harris. Uh, they, they might be the only two left. <laughs> well, that whole dynamic, I think they're always thinking about it. You know, I'm quite sure their media is probably asking them all kind of questions before the game and stuff. So I'm quite sure that that's, they're constantly thinking about that. Look, look, look. They're showing Butler holding the, holding the knee again, when, you know, when he got. I mean, it didn't look like he was faking. Yeah. But on the low, that was like 15 minutes ago. It's like, come on, let's keep it moving. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably saying, and look, look what he's doing now. <laughs> right. The great Jimmy Butler, even though he hurt his knee, he's still out there doing the greatest things <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> like, you heard a play like, oh, Yeah. I was gonna say you heard a playoff butler, but there's playing butler too. <laughs> For real. That's that's the that's the one thing I, I don't like about the commentary. Like um the purpose of the pod that I had before was to was to talk about how these guys, you know, they used to be superstars, right? But now they're commentators and, and they, they forget they forgot the game. They just they just sitting on their high horse kind of, you know, and then they talking about um these guys like superheroes as if they didn't play the game themselves. You know, mm-hmm. when they played the game, they didn't talk about the game that way. But now they're commentators and they're talking the game like that, you know? That's a great point. So Miami is looking like they're on a little run now. 
Yeah. Like they look like they found their rhythm. Defense is swarming. Yeah, they try to figure it out. I don't, I don't really like what Philly's doing, to tell you the truth. And Maxi is not on the floor right now, right? Um, I think he is. This guy, Tobias Harris, just shot a three pointer. Oh, uh, air ball. Yeah, air ball. <laughs> well, Maxi's coming in yeah. now. Yeah, there he is. Did you watch the game last night? The games last night? Um, I saw a little bit of, of um of the Pelicans versus the Lakers. Okay. Yeah. I watched more of the uh the second game. Sacramento destroying uh Golden State. I, well, I we watched, watched as together, much as I could. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I love the way that crowd is is screaming uh Keegan Murray's name every time he scores. Yeah, it kind of reminds reminds me of uh, us with Deuce at the Garden. Yeah, it's like Deuce, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what are they saying, Keegan? <laughs> oh, now they like Keegan Murray. Oh. But it, you know the whole the whole arena it seems like is is, is screaming it so it, it's, it sounds awesome, and I remember they started that last year, so um you know the fact that they're still doing it I'm sure he he's adjusted to it you know what I mean I'm sure it, it probably was uh gave him butterflies or something uh, uh, last year, yeah. But that kid that kid is smooth I like that I like him he's he's gonna he's gonna be a um a nice young piece I mean that whole team is pretty. Pretty good, you know what I mean. He got nice waves too. He's like the wave guy. His, his waves <laughs> are real good. And yeah, much props to his, to his hairdresser. Philly's still fighting though. Yeah, the the thing about Sacramento's fans, I think they're corny, man. You know, I remember they was doing like uh, feed the beam or whatever what they was doing. Remember oh, that? um, light light the beam. Oh, light the beam, man! Get like, the fuck out of here, man! What, the, what was that about? I, I, I mean, I, I I like I like it. I liked it from afar. You know what I mean? Like it, it had it had the city behind them. You know what I mean? So every time they got a win, a big they had this beam that would shoot up in the you know what I mean? Shoot up in the sky. So the <laughs> the whole city saw it. So it's like like I ain't gonna front. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of dope. You look out the window. You might not even seen the game, but you know, you know the you know the Kings won tonight. You, you know what right. I mean? So, so I, I thought that was kind of dope for the for the city. Like I ain't never you know, been there. Man. Yeah, I would love to go to Sacramento. That's on my bucket list. But like you know, we do stuff like that because like of stuff that happened like nine eleven. You know what I'm saying? We will light a beam to to That's commemorate nine eleven, something like That's that. True. You know? That's true. But them. They light a beam to, to celebrate the basketball team. You know, I think that's a little bit crazy to me. I mean, that that's true. All right, let's say, let's say, I, I don't know where where it originated from. So maybe, maybe the or, origin. Um, I mean, it's still. I, I get what you're saying. I, I didn't. I never thought of it that way. I just yeah. thought of it of you know, letting the whole city know, like, yo, we we out here. We 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 winning games. You know what I mean. Right. Bring some, um, bring some more support. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's that's like that, that is a, a funny comparison to <laughs> where we like to be <laughs> compared to uh, Sacramento. Yeah. yeah, but you know, they, they, to me, I, I, when they did that, I was thinking Care Bears. You know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, we care with the Care Bears thing. <laughs> you know, Care Bears stare. <laughs> now we're showing our yeah. age. <laughs> uh-huh. See, you seen the movie too. I'm not the only one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Care Bears was the, was the shit back in the days. I can't even blame my daughter too. <laughs> For real, yeah. Uh, who we got? I see Craig in the building. Salute, Kareem Grant. Oh, um, this guy Greg is on your channel because I ban I ban Greg. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Greg is like one of the few people that I actually banned from uh, from my channel, man. So shame on really? you, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> so they show they it, it'll just show like everybody between the two channels. Yeah. Or or I only see. Oh, okay, that's that's dope. What, yeah. what what Craig what Craig do, man? Craig know what he did. I forgot what he did. Yeah, all right, you know, all right. He, I, we'll I leave it in the 
Well, you, you, well, you know, like to say, like if, if I'm doing like a, I'm usually doing watch along. So if I'm doing a watch along and I'm talking, I can see the chat while I'm talking. So he kept saying the same dumb shit over and over and over and over and over and over. So I said, you know, I, I couldn't keep dealing with this, so I just blocked him. You should have just gave him acknowledgement. That's all he wanted. Nah. Nah. He's he says I'm, I'm gonna relay the message just because you can't see it. No, I can see him. Oh, you can't see it? Okay. okay. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he said he was telling the truth. <laughs> you can put you can post uh -oh. comments on the screen, right? Oh uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Boom. There you go. Boom. He said, I've been doing the same thing I do on your channel and others. Tell the truth. Um <laughs> it's, it's your truth. Yeah. And everyone is entitled to their truth. I ain't gonna lie though, that's like a pet peeve of mine. Like the concept of my truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think the real thing should be my perspective. You know, I agree instead with of that. saying my truth. Because I, I think, you know, there's really only one truth. The right. truth is the truth. You know what I mean? You know what I can't stand too to kind of piggyback on that? People that say, like, oh, I'm a free thinker. So what the hell am I then? Like you don't know anyone thinking for free, and what I'm thinking what somebody else is thinking, man. Come on, man. I'm a free thinker. You're like, okay, whatever, dude. Um, if you're a free thinker, then you should be open to what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> right. You should be at least open to what I'm saying. Right, they they use the, those excuses like to 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 be ignorant, you know, to, to to or to be disrespectful to you, you know. Yes. So um, let's see, I think that score is accurate, thirty three twenty six, right? So my, oh my yeah, Miami's, Miami is um, I mean. It looks, it's looking like I'm going to get what I asked for. <laughs> my preference was Miami. What's that? My, my preference was, um, is, is Miami. Let me not say was, is Miami. Um, I yeah. do think it, it just means more as a, as a matchup, as a series. Um, by no means do I think Miami's the easier target or, or um, opponent. But I think, it, I, th I think right. for that reason, it means, it means more. Right. Well, you know, Philly, Philly, I think goes out of their way to to stop Brunson. You know, they'll they'll switch and they'll put somebody that that would normally guard somebody else on on Brunson, and I think that that disrupts what they're doing from the get go. You know, and because Brunson is going to drop, he's going to drop forty on whoever you put on him. So it's like no use of putting somebody taller on him. You know, so I, I think that's that's an advantage. You know, but Miami, they're not going to do that. They're going to keep Terry on him. You know, they're not they're not going to do anything cute. They like they're not going to put Jimmy Butler on Brunson like that. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's the it, that's a big problem there. And then you know the flip side too. This guy Bam Adebayo destroys, um, you know Mitchell Robinson or whatever. I, li I like the matchup with him and Hartenstein to tell you the truth. Um, I mean, you know, Bam. wait, who and Hartenstein? Bam. I was gonna say just just yeah, just Bam, yeah. Oh. Uh, Kareem Grant said, "Who do you think Bam will, will hurt tonight?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think uh, I, hope I think his man. target is I think his target is in B, <laughs> but uh, you know, hope like like I always say, I I hope no one gets hurt. You know, yeah. I don't I don't want any excuses when we when we uh match up. Both of these teams are playing horrible, man. Like there's like no real flow to it. Everybody's kind of like stumbling and bumbling. Yeah, the previous possession, Philly had about four offensive rebounds in a row, still did not come up with a basket. Yeah, point blank range shots, man. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's it's uh Miami Miami definitely looks wow, here go another one. I saw yeah. that one. They ready, they ready, they ready to end this thing early. I know it's only yeah. eleven or eleven point game. But you can see that there's so much more engaged. They they have a mission. Do you see um um what's the name um Steph? Steph is in the chat. 
oh, oh, there we go. There we go. And she says, this is why I want Philly. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. They can um, be disrupted with the way that they play. You know, they look confused. They look like they never played with each other. They, they definitely do. They definitely do. Salute, queen. Peace, queen. Um, Again, I, I, I do agree. They are the easier tar- um opponent, but. I just feel like it's gonna mean so much, and I want I want a great series. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a chance we lose, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This team looks too focused. Yeah. But for the fans, for the fan perspective too, you know, you you just want the best matchup. You know, when we're watching these games and stuff, you know, we want we want to have good games. That's what we're here for. You know, we you're not here to back down from it. We want the best team to win tonight, so we can have the best opponent. You know, so that that's that's good for us. You know, good for the for the enjoyment of the game. Just just good for it overall. You know, and they cut they cut it to within seven. Anything that's standing out to you in this game so far? Just the on um, the way that Philly's unorganized. They just look completely unorganized. You know, I I think um. I, I really don't I really can't call it because I'm I feel like they they they're trying to do everything at once, you know? Like they, they have Embiid out there, they got they're trying to let him do whatever, and then they take him out now, they're trying to do something else, and then it doesn't work, and then they end up going one on one. So to me, they're kind of playing like like how um the Knicks played before Brunson, you know? Like we'll get into a play, we'll try to do something and it doesn't work, and now Julius has a ball in his hand now. You know, ready to jack uh, up a shot, you know. I think that is a, a good comparison. They fight yeah. though, they you know what I mean. Like the effort is there, the energy yeah. is there. They don't look uh lethargic. Leg- um, it's just the the focus doesn't seem to be there, and the and the chemistry, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Shout out to cool. um Walter White. Okay. Became a member. For whose channel? Um. I mean, it doesn't say. But <laughs> well, I'm congratulations! Sure I, I, I appreciate it, and, and I'm sure you you appreciate it as well. Yeah, no doubt. But you know, shout, shout out to Philly when when these teams, um, even even Miami, um, when when you come when it comes down to these playoff teams, whatever, like you always find like these players that used to be stars at one point, and then they end up becoming bench players on the, on the team later on. So you're looking at guys like um. I guess you could say Tobias. You're looking at Lowry. You're looking at Kelly Oubre. Um, what's it? Um, Nicholas Batum. You know, mm-hmm. guys like that. Buddy Hill is coming off the bench for Philly. You know, so a lot of these. Um, you know, um, even uh, Mo Bamba that was on Phil, um on Orlando is on the bottom of the bench of Philly. You know, so it's funny to see names like that. Even Miami Heat, they got guys like Kevin Love off the bench. You know, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, well, I mean, Love, Love is you. You know, he's at the tail end of his career, but I think it's interesting. More interesting, you know, the Philly side of it with a Buddy Hill. I would have thought, you know, they make that trade. He's starting. Um, who else you name? Ubre starting, isn't he? Or he's coming off? Yeah, Ubre starting I, I, now. Okay, okay. But yeah, Buddy Hill. You you would have thought, you know, he he would come in and maybe maybe start next to um Maxi. They they chose to put Larry out there. Yeah, that might be a, a detriment in itself. I mean, down the stretch, that's one thing. But I think you got to surround and be with shooters as well. Yeah. Walter White, shout out to him. He says, these games are physical. How we play all year, don't be surprised. Um. Oh, yeah, I, don't, I think nothing changes with us. For us. Yeah. But you know, to me, when the Knicks got it going, man, like like we we're, we're like wild animals out there when, when when we got it going. You know, like the way that we get these loose balls and like um, let's say like our big man could be boxing out, but here comes Josh Hart on the weak side to get the rebound. Next thing you know, we flying up the court. We might mess the play up, but we'll come back down. We'll steal it back, and we'll you know we're we're like wild animals on defense, man. Yeah, that's you know, right. So, that's right. We'll, yeah. we'll turn the ball over and come down, and and it'll be a three on one. Dante get a block. You, you know what I mean, and, 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 and you know what I mean. It, it, it may not 
result in us getting the ball back, but now it, it, it goes out of bounds and we get to set up our defense from, from scratch. You know what I mean? Just right. those hustle plays. You know, and guys are playing a lot of minutes. Our guys don't get tired. That's the thing, too. Like, you know, I mentioned all these these uh, veterans. So, I mean, like, guys like Nicholas Batum and all these guys, they're going to get tired eventually. You know, our, our Knicks don't get tired. We just keep coming, man. We've had multiple guys throughout the year go on maybe 10-game stretches, anywhere from four to 10-game stretches where this particular player was leading the league in, in minutes. Precious and Trua had a stint. You know what I mean? Um, Josh Hart had a stint. Deuce McBride had a stint. Uh, <laughs> it's somebody else. Um, Isaiah Hartenstein had had a stint pre-injury, pre pre uh, you know, minute restriction. So at, at one point in the, in the season, all of these guys had like a four game to ten game stretch where they were playing thirty eight minutes or more. Yeah. So Shout that's one Julius thing. Before the trade, Julius yeah. was kind of playing a lot of minutes too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because we didn't, we didn't. I mean, at that point, Precious wasn't really playing, and, right. and, and yeah, so Randall was kind of leading, leading the um, at least us in minutes. So yeah, I, I think all these guys, especially for stretches, what it did was prepare us for a one game situation, two game situation where you might have to play excessive minutes yeah josh hart complained about it and then went on the best stretch of his career <laughs> josh hart is funny man he's like like super sarcastic the sarcastic humor you know so he's pretty funny oh um, i think it was gilbert arenas he said now i i know we all agree brunson's a superstar he said one of the things that's that's holding him back as far as the recognition is that he doesn't have um the personality. Um so it's non -bas not non basketball related. But the funny thing that he said, he was like, if if Brunson had Josh Hart's personality, you know what I mean, he would have already been considered a superstar. So that that's my thing, because because now it becomes to me, it, it becomes like homoerotic now. You know, so are we talking about basketball or are we talking about like selling underwear? Are we talking about Calvin Klein ads now? That's that what we're gonna do next? You know, like oh, he looks better in underwears. You know, that's why he's a superstar. <laughs> no, I, like, that, that, stuff, that stuff is ridiculous because um, was... Gilbert Arenas, if you remember him, he had no personality. I don't remember him having a personality back that's then. That's true. You know, that's true. Let him talk about it. He thought that he was a superstar. You know, he was a that's moron. True. That's what he was as a player. He was an inefficient moron. Yeah, his you know? his his personality was. Juvenile, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Like he act like a kid. That was his personality. That was his niche. Um, where he balled on the court. You know what I mean? So I don't think the two correlated in 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 the sense. Yeah, and let let um let Gilbert Arenas talk about it. He you you act like he was shooting fifty percent from the field. Gilbert Arenas was was um getting getting his points and stuff like that, shooting thirty six percent from the field. Like come on, getting to the free throw line. Um, right. But it's funny you say that, uh, or just <laughs> whatever fr uh, phrase you you turned, um, because <laughs> when, when he said uh, the first time he started talking about Brunson or or, or the Knicks, because I, I do follow his podcast, it's, it's entertaining. He said, yeah. um, "Oh, the Knicks need a superstar. They need to trade for somebody like Jalen Green. Um, that's the kid on the on the on the um Houston, right?" Jalen Green. Right. So, first of all, Jalen Green is not a superstar and nowhere near it yet. But one of the things that he pointed to was he's a young, handsome kid. So it goes right to what you're saying. Like, how does that have anything to do with him being a superstar? You, you know what I mean? It's about your talent, man, and, and what you do and how you do it on the court. Yeah. You're right on point with that because I was gonna bring it up, but you know I knew you was probably gonna say it. But you, you definitely brought brought it up there. So I mean, so so Brunson needs to be digging in in, in the, the, these women's DMs and stuff like that, having babies with forty year olds and stuff like that in order to become a superstar. I just don't get it. You know what happened to basketball? That's my thing. I, I did a pop podcast earlier. When, when are we gonna talk about basketball, the teams and stuff like that? Since since when did it become a league where we're talking about superstars? 
Like when when um when when Charles Barkley and those guys were, were playing, they didn't care about Michael Jordan. They hated that. They used to make fun of. Oh, sometimes I dream. They used to make fun of it. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That that whole thing, the superstar thing. Yep. You know, remember with Charles Barkley? I'm not a role model. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Now now look. Oh, we need a star player. Like oh, look at the star players. It's ridiculous to me. Oh, uh, shout out to Kev Guapo. He says the Heat look hungry out there. They sure do. They sure do. Um, do you know who I think it's number four is? Is that like is that Delon Wright? Is that his name? Oh, uh, Philly. Oh no, oh Miami. Number, mm, number four. four. Yeah, he's guarding. He just switched off on on and beat. But he, it looks I think like he's a guard. Right. Let me see. I yes, haven't seen. I, right. Was he hurt? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, well, he, hero I just think, hit a He three. was a pickup. I think. Did they trade for him? I think he might have got traded at the deadline. Okay. Traded for the deadline. Oof. All right. It's 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 getting away from him a little bit. Yeah. So. Play, you know, the devil's advocate thing. Like, let's let's say if this was the Knicks, like, how do we defend Miami with it like this? Because the the issue with the Knicks is that we, we usually kind of play funky when when they have too many guys that could create their own shot playing at the same time. You know, too many offensive players. So Miami right now, they got a, a team full of offensive players right now. You know, Clint Martin. You got um, uh, what's the I keep um, I don't want to say the white kid. Um, Tyler Hero. You know, all these guys. Mm-hmm. These guys can create their own shots. And then then you got Bam out of Bayou kind of anchoring that. You know, so. Well, well, number one, the number one thing that I would say that we would need to do that that is part of our staple any anyway, but the turnovers, these type of turnovers that Philly is is giving up, we yeah. can't do that. You know what I mean? Because you, you know what I mean. Number one, the game would be a lot closer if you take away those. You know, we we've right. seen at least three fast break layups, um, off off of turnovers. Not including, you know, the ones that led to just, um, you know, leak outs or, or threes or whatever the case. So that'd be number one. If we if we can't turn the ball ball over like that, um, they're not crashing the boards either, Philly. I don't know what the box score is, but it, I mean, from the eye test, they they're not they want it done. So even when they not turning the ball over, but they get a shot up, they're not getting a rebound if 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 they miss. And, and yeah. again, that's leading to more transition for 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 Miami. Um, I don't think it's so much that Miami looks great as opposed to how bad Philly looks, in, in, in my opinion, so far. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out too. Um, you look, know, it, and, and look, look, look. <laughs> what oh, no, Coach Sher- Sher- Sherry Sherry says uh, the same thing. Miami's not this good. Sixes are this bad. Yes, that's spot on right there. Well, just just taking a quick look here. You know, it's about to be halftime, so I guess we can do a like a halftime report kind of thing. But um, turnovers, yeah, you know, you me. know, five turnovers to eleven. You know, so that's that's what that is there. Pardon, pardon my phone going off. Um, yeah, we could do it. Um, let me highlight another comment question. From uh, Kev Guapo, he says, "Do you got? What do you guys think of Brunson taking less money on his next contract to help the Knicks build a championship team?" Um, I've been on that boat. You know, shout out to Josh, who's always fighting me on on whether guys are gonna take less money or not. Um, yeah, I I can see that happening in in, in an instance. Um, so yeah, I, I would love it. I mean, I I don't care what what he makes to be honest, because it's never my money. But if right. if it's gonna help us in the long run, and he's willing to do it, to me that that just is a bigger testament to who Brunson is. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's really about winning, about the team, about doing whatever he could do. Wow. Think about it though. When he was a he was gonna get he was willing to take the fifty million from the Mavs. You you know what I mean? So it's not like that alone will tell you who he who he is. You, you know what right. I mean? Like, right now, if he was willing to take 50 and he got 100, I mean, the way I would be looking at it is, I'm 50 million in the, in the plus right now. You know, right. what, you know what I mean? Like, so I'm already ahead of, I'm already in the plus right now. So, um, 
yeah, kudos to him if he does it, and I ain't mad if he don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the same boat too. But you know, th- these guys are well aware of um what's happening. The same way we know, they know too. Because it's, it's just a different league now. Guys are just not ignoring it and letting their agents take care of it. They they know what's going on. You know, so I'm quite sure um, you know, Brunson knows that he's um, you know, he that he can get a certain amount of money. But you know, if you if you want to win, you have to you have to make these decisions. So it's funny when you see other teams like let's say um What's it? Uh, uh, Drew Holiday got extended. You know what I'm saying? Drew Holiday is like 30, like in his in his late 30s, and he got extended. How does that help the team at all? Why are we talking about an extension in the beginning of the playoffs? You, you feel me? You know, so it, it just lets you know what, what people and, are thinking about and what the teams are thinking about too. You know, and from a from a team from a team stand perspective, pardon me. I don't think that was the greatest move for them to do, considering. You could have did the same thing after the season and and base it off of if y'all won this chip, <laughs> you, right. you know what I mean? Like like so you rewarded him before he finished the the test, you know what I mean? Or before he finished 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 the season. So I, I think it was a, a risky move to say the least. Yeah, you you can go down the line too. Like the like the Bulls, they they went and extended Vucevic for no reason. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then now that they're like a playing team, they might even they might not even continue their season. It might be done tonight. You know what I'm saying? So like they wasted money. So now if if they let's say if they lose the play and now that they're gonna they should be thinking about you know selling, you know, getting some of these players off the roster. But now you don't extend it guys for no reason now. So like I I don't I still under, I never will understand why teams do that. That that you know, me me and Josh was arguing on on, a, on one of our group chats about that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Then to the point where he went on, he had to DM me on the side, you know, as if there's some kind of beef. <laughs> My thing is, is like, 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 um, I, I don't want to talk about salary. You know, I don't want to talk about salary in depth right now because the same way, like these these teams, they're getting ready for the playoffs. Why are we extending guys when the playoffs is happening? You know, what I'm saying same thing. Why are we having these conversations about like, like, not not just conversations, but you know, it's good to, to mention it. But like to have mm-hmm. in depth conversation where I got my calculator out and I got you know and I, and I got the the trades um thing and I got all the numbers and I'm I'm showing you how smart I am you know why are we doing that before the playoffs I just don't understand yeah when, you know when we got the whole offseason. nothing can really be done done during the playoffs um I mean yeah. as yeah as content creators I don't care if if, if you if you giving yourself something to talk about you know what I mean on in the content space. Because hey, right. that's you know what I mean. That might be a show in itself, but um, right. to to like on a personal level, I don't to go in depth. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it on my own time. <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna force me to go do research. <laughs> and, yeah, in a, in a in a group chat for for Christ's sake, you know what I'm saying. But, shout know. out to Josh, man. No, I, I'm we I'm Josh's you. biggest fan. I, I say that all the time, man. Like I I, I would never forget. That time when he, when he went on, when he called, like like he was he had he had called or whatever, and then I think um Sim brought him on the show, and I was like, wait a second, you that you one of the, you that caller guy that that was that they used to call all the time, so I mean you know I'm I'm always been a big fan of Josh man, you know he you know he, I wish he would do more more pies, and I think he's afraid of me to tell you the truth man because he knows that I'm gonna freaking um call him out on his bullshit every time he throws something out there, so you know <laughs> it it would be dope to do like a you know controversy with him every once in a while just so he could throw a topic out there and i could just disagree with him for like 40 <laughs> minutes you know <laughs> hey he he he's got the show he's got the channel when when, when time permits so he'll, he'll be back you know what i mean yeah, and, okay. and, and um I, i'm at the platform but, you know time permits he'll be back um shout out to, to uncle folio mr controversy yeah. and one of the my first my first uh my first guest that you know, I don't remember what what views I did on it, but I think he was my first 1K video. You, you know what I mean? So, okay. you know that that was um special special to me. You know what I mean? Fi- my first 1K video, great great discussion. If you didn't see it, go back. Nah, you probably don't want to go back. That was a couple years ago, but not. What? You know, Josh, Josh would have you going to other people's channels. Yeah, leave. Um, forget what we're talking about. Leave our channel and go watch somebody else's channel, and then come back, and then you can then you know what we're talking about. Like Josh is crazy, man. Yeah, but you know, he, he's um, he's original, definitely. So you you want to get into some halftime stuff, man? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Let's break it down. Where, where we at? What's uh? Well, halftime score is on uh, fifty-one to thirty-nine, man. They're freaking getting smacked right now. Ooh. 
Man, it felt like it was just closer with, with, with a minute left. But they go on a 6-0 run down the stretch. Well, down the stretch just now, Embiid had a shot, had a shot to, to score right at the basket. He turned around and just blew the entire uh, rim. Somebody that yeah. was an MVP that scored 30 points per game, blowing layups right at the rim is no good, man. I think they need to put him in the post, and that's the only way they could win. I agree, man, but that, that goes against what they do. He uh, He likes to operate at the foul line. And I think that just goes right into what Miami's um would would love to do on defense because that that helps them relax. I mean, you have to punish the Heat. You have to, and yeah. and you gotta use your what you have to your advantage against. You have an advantage there. If you're not utilizing it, you're taking you're literally taking away your own advantage. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and he don't have to stay there all, all night. You know what I mean? But you get you get him in the post. Where now they have to adjust, and now you can ease your way back out. Well, that's but that's exactly point, what they did in the beginning. Them. Yeah, but well, they had to that in the beginning. They um they had um got um what's his name um Bam in foul trouble. Remember he had to come out the game in the beginning because mm-hmm. they were they were actually attacking him, and then they went away from it. So I, I don't understand. Dwayne Dennis says, "Is it gonna be the Heat? It's looking like it." It's looking like it. I ain't gonna fry. I got a little like tight stomach, even though I got I, I got this be careful what you wish for feeling right now because I've been asking for the heat. Well, yeah, I can, that's what I keep saying too. People keep asking for it, but like you, you ask for it, you definitely will get it. You know, <laughs> I say that to people all the time, and you keep wishing it. That's why I say, like, I like I like I, I keep saying I wish I would I wish I could do this podcast and stuff more often because you know, I have so many things that I want to do that I can't do because I'm I have to work so much. But if I didn't work, then what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to you got to make money. So it's like, do I want to get fired? And so I could do more podcasts. It's like crazy, <laughs> man. So you got to be very careful what you wish for because you will get it. It might not be the perfect situation. You know, you might lose your job. Okay, now hey, do as many podcasts as you want. Now you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's crazy. Yeah, now you got to add to. Well, I hope my podcast pays the bills. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know that that that's not gonna happen. Unless yeah, you not, something I mean, else happening with it. There, there, there's some people out there that could do that, but you know, not 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 I. Would be nice. Yeah, though. I mean, but it's good to dream. They might they, they, there's, there's one podcast right now, which is Nick's Fan TV, and they're the only <laughs> ones that are really like making bread. But you know, for the for the amount of people that they have on the channel and what it what it takes to to um to keep it going and all that, that's not going to sustain. You know, you know, it's, not, it's definitely not enough to sustain human beings. You know, the the money that this um this generated. You know, everything has definitely yeah, has got, to come from outside sources. Yeah, you got to expand, outsource, and and things of that nature. Sponsorships and stuff like that. Correct. Yeah. So let's blow, let's blow through the halftime show, man. You, I'll, I'll I'll do it the way that I do it, just to just to get it kind of get it out the way. Yeah, 50, yeah, 51 to thirty nine. Yep, fifty one to thirty nine. Miami's up. Uh, take a look quarter to quarter. First quarter, uh, they it was it was even twenty three to twenty to twenty two. Second quarter, that's when Phil, uh, Philadelphia fell out the out their seats there twenty eight to seventeen. So um, right now the score is fifty one to thirty nine. Um, which any any thoughts about that before I slide to the next one? Um, just the fact that you know this uh, just a reminder this game is in Philly, right? Yep. Um, so you know this is with their home crowd. And they they seemed lackluster lackluster from the beginning, so I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It doesn't it doesn't feel like they can turn it around, even though the score is not out of reach. Right, I agree with you, man. You know the 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 energy in the building doesn't doesn't match like you know the the stakes you know that that's happening right now. So here we go. Shot charts. You got Miami on the left side, Philadelphia on the right hand side. Um. Yeah, Philadelphia is definitely getting a lot of shots at the rim, but as you can see all around the court, they're missing everything, baby. You know, look at the corner threes on the right-hand side. They're missing that. Uh, straightaway threes, they're missing a lot of sh- the shots that they, I want to say that they normally make, but as you can see, Embiid is not getting hit the shots that he normally gets at that foul line. So that's a problem for them. As far as Miami, they're basically getting the the, uh, the shots that they, that they normally um, take. Um, Philadelphia is definitely lucky because you see there's a lot of X's at there for the, at, at the three-point line. So they definitely got to uh, take a look at that in the second half. As far as shots, um, both teams put up, um, you know, basically the same thing, 42 to, to 43. Um, Miami is shooting 43%. They're shooting 33. Uh, to keep it scrolling, the biggest lead for Miami was 14. Philly was 70, uh, was 86. 
I'm excuse me, was um I'm looking at 76. <laughs> it was eight. You know, longest run was nine. Uh, as far as rebounding, uh, Philadelphia is up 30 to 25. Miami's up uh, 11 assists to eight. You're talking about nine steals with uh, with Miami, which is crazy. That's the game right there. Nine steals. You know, add the nine steals to the six turnovers and to to Philadelphia's turnovers, and then there you go, right there, six to 11. Uh, we already mentioned the the um, the field goal percentages, the three point percentages. Um, 16 percent for Philly. You know, they're not going to win games shooting the ball like this. And, uh, you know, free throws is what it is. As far as points in the paint, um, Miami is kind of not dominating, but they're leading 24 to 18. Second chance points, 8 to 5. And fast break points, 11 to 6. Whenever I do this, if if um, if um the team is leading in all three of these categories, they, they, they typically win the game. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, you know, Philly's in trouble right now. So the next thing to look at will be the box score. So um, Yeah, and, and just if I could add, like, you – you um. I didn't. I, it didn't feel like Philadelphia was winning the rebounding um battle. The fact that they are, um, is telling me that that's the only reason this game is not out of reach. Like that's the right. only thing that's like is it, keeping it semi close. But they're yeah. not even capitalizing off of it because you said they they're winning the rebounding battle, but they only had did they have one? It was, the shot difference was forty two forty three. So yeah, they didn't even take advantage of that. Yeah, remember that play we was talking about where where they were they were just bouncing the ball off the rim and they just couldn't score. It was crazy, man. So I, I don't know what's going on with Philly today. Do you do you think do you think that like as a team could could like the team be at this stage of the game be like shell shock like this could could be like I, it's it's to me it's weird with the stakes. I, I would think that this would would have been a bloodbath today, but it's, yes. it really isn't. Um. The only thing I can say is, you know, Miami's defense is real. You, you, you know what I mean. So that you gotta, you gotta give that credit when it's due. But I agree with you hundred percent. It feels like they don't have any sort sense of urgency. Yes. You, you know what I mean. Like, and, and and it'll be interesting if they lose this game. I don't know if I watch the the next playing uh series. With, you know, for the for the Apes. AFC, but it will be interesting how they play that game if they lose this one, um, because that will be telling. If 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 it looks like, um, the urgency increases, maybe they maybe they were ducking us. You, you know what I mean, man. Um, but I can't I can't see them ducking us to play the Celtics. Like how, how much sense that make? Yeah, but I mean, you never know though. You, you never know. Maybe. maybe... I like. I mean, let me let me say it like this: If the next game, if if their energy is way different, the next game, well, I mean, it, it will be different because they'll be playing for their lives at that point. You know what I'm saying? But if the energy is night and day compared to what what we saw tonight, man, then I I I, would, I think that's a podcast in itself. That's worth coming on the on on in front of the camera and cursing these guys out, man. That's that's messed up. You to me, I I feel like you can't give games away. You have to play. You know. You, you know, you, you can't just like like d- decide when you're gonna play hard and when you're not. I just don't g- agree with that. Did you mute yourself? Yeah, pardon me. The um the yeah. chat seems to agree. Shout out to uh JJP NYC it says exactly play- uh Philly's playing like they waiting to play Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, you know, nostalgic Philadelphia isn't mentally prepared. And then shout out to um Calvin Birkin who says watching Miami play the zone. I'm sorry, that wasn't the comment I wanted, but I'll read it anyway. <laughs> watching Miami play the zone and Philly is standing around allowing them. That's not how you uh, stop the zone. Yeah. And, and um the other comment was also nostalgic, Nick. Um Miami are used to high stake games and, and they are playing like it. You you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, continue. Sure. My bad. All right, well, you know, th- this is just a box score right now. Um, you know, Jimmy Butler is the leading scorer at the moment. Um, everybody else is basically kind of just kind of contri- um, contributing equally. Um, uh, Tyler Hero has nine points, though. But um, as far as rebounding and stuff, you only got um, this guy, Jovic, got four. Bam got five. Uh, Khalid Martin got four. So, so, you know, Miami's a team effort kind of kind of team. You know, mm-hmm. they, don't, they don't really rely on one person to do anything. You know, they kind of do things, you know, together. Kind of, I mean, you know, we've been saying that like crazy. It's just like the Knicks. You know, like we don't rely on one guy to do one thing. Like it's collectively, guys just just play ball. You know, so 
it's it's looking to be a slugfest when 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 um if uh, if Miami does does um finish this man we we're gonna we're gonna get everything we asked for in you know, Knicks yeah. versus um uh, Miami. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean I'm not like I said I got the little tight stomach or whatever, but I, I I think we we have more than enough to beat them. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see us playing with that type of uh, lackluster effort. You, you you know what I mean? So so. Even though, you know, it's concerning, I think we come out with a lot more fire than than Philly did has so far. Yeah. Well, let, let me blow through this real quick because the game is about to come back. Just, just you know, real quick with the box score. Kelly Oubre, zero points. Come on, dude. You know, um, Tobias Harris, lackluster, six points. You know, um, Embiid only, only has 10. You know, the guy's a little leading scorer. As far as outside of that, Maxi went, went one and one a couple times at nine points. Lowry kind of chucked up a couple shots. So they didn't really have nothing going, man. So Philly got a lot of work up, you know, to um to do in the second half, yeah. Yeah. So we're back in action. Well, I've seen some fire just now. Um as the game started back up, they looked like Tobias Harris just ran through a screen, put Bam on his ass. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like Got called for the foul, but it's nice. It's nice to see some uh some effort, some energy, and it looks like they're reviewing it. <laughs> That's the NBA today, man. Sheesh, like that is so annoying. I, but, you I, know, you know I, I like that effort, though. I like that effort. You you know what I mean? Like show you alive, show a pulse, right? But why, why does it have to be like a play like that, though? You know what I'm saying? Where now, now, like, like it looks like you just shoved them down or whatever, so they're gonna review it. So why does it have to be like, like, in order to show them, you gotta like shove them to the ground? Why not just play hard and play ba- play hard basketball? Why does it have to be something non basketball related? You know. Well, I I will say this: he was he was he was trying to contest the three. You you, you know right. what I mean? He was trying to get to the to his rotation. You, you, you know what I mean? So, he, and and the fact that he did that foul, that that shot went in. You know what I mean? It, it, it negated the the three points. Um, if there's no flagrant or or any kind of uh penalty for for the foul, but I, I I like it, man. You know what I mean? If 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 this was the Knicks and we were down this much and and not showing that energy defensively, you know, I I I would I would clap it up for that play right there. Go go ahead and and fight, man. Show like I said, show a pulse. Yeah. All right, no harm, no foul, or just a foul, I should say. <laughs> no flagrant. And yeah, what do you think about the referees? Man? He just got like, the rebound, so he saved them three points now. I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. Now I'm looking at the refs, man. They look like um, uh, what do you call Smokey Robinson's backup singers or something? <laughs> Number twenty-seven there with the with the S curl thing going on, and the other one, you know. You, you, I don't you ever know. I, I don't know that day. Who, who's who's part? Uh, Jeff Teague. Yes, yes. Did you see what he said about that other referee, the one with the bug Uh-oh. eyes? Nah. He, they said that he's like one of those dirty old men kind of things. Like, like he likes to say like smart stuff on the court. Oh yes, yes. Cool. You seen that? Yeah, I, I I've seen it, but I'm not sure who they were referencing. They were talking about the the, the um the lead um the lead official today the one that's on the top the, top of the screen the one that yeah the one that actually went to the screen for the review yes yeah Tony Brothers right yeah I think is that so. him that even sounds like a backup singer right you got Tony <laughs> Brothers in the house tonight <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you know oh man this looks bad. Yeah, I, I I can't. I mean, if if this pans out the way it looks like it's going to, do you see Philly being any type of a threat for Boston? I don't know. Has anybody scored yet? Fifty-one to thirty-nine. Nope, nope. Same. That this is like how the game started. It was two-zero for about four minutes. Yeah. So for everybody else, we might be about twenty seconds behind, but that's just because of the stream. You know, that that's how the streaming thing is. Like the commercials are not the same as it is on television, so sometimes we get you know delayed a little bit. So that that was Kelly Uber's first layup there, his first wow. point of the game. 
somebody somebody must have said something to him. <laughs> wow. It went from 10 to 13. It's good to see this kid Jokic. What was his name? Jovic. His name the, the it's good to see him finally being a big part of what Miami's doing. Because he, he's been very patient in the in the sidelines waiting for his turn, and he's finally getting the, getting a chance. Look, see, this is what I don't like about Joel. He bails him out. Yeah. Like go to the basket, bro. Or get in the get in the post. Oh, that was a nice play by him. Yo. <laughs> Another missed layup, but they got the rebound. Offensive put back. I haven't really seen any Kyle Lowry moments. I was expecting him to have. That was a beautiful play by Embiid. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, got the Lowry look smacked it yeah. off for a fast break. All right, go ahead. Now, just and looking at Kyle Lowry, just, um, you know, Fishing for the foul to that to the point where you, where you can't make the layup is crazy, man. <laughs> and then on, on the opposite end, the Miami Heat are not wasting time. They come down and they just score. You know, you know, mm-hmm. just just like Bam just did. They keep the pressure on you at all times. Oh, here come the help. Yeah, they're, they're playing like old Knicks, you know. Now I, I, I'm just looking at Julius, you know, dribbling the ball out, you know, going to the basket by himself, you know. I watch well, Miami come down. They, they don't have an answer for Joel when he goes to the basket. They're like there's lit, lit. Now, granted, you don't have an answer when he's when he's on, but he's not hitting his shots right now. Right. And truthfully, you know, he he has 12 points, but they're not. He's not hurting them at all. Because the, okay. the team is so out of sync that it doesn't even matter. You know, like there goes another one-on-one play there by Maxi. He just hit a foul line jump shot. So I mean, that's all they that's all they have right now. Cut the within nine now. 54, 56, 47. Oh. Damn, just and that was he trying to draw in more fouls. I, I don't like that. But, you know, the difference of the game now is Miami's getting the shots that they want, and Philly is getting the shots that Miami wants them to take. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there you go. And beat on the perimeter again. Maxi chucking a three. Like, what effort is, is Miami playing on defense? They're not, they don't have to because they, 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 they're baiting Philly. They're doing what they want them to do. Yep. 100%. Seven thirty eight. There's no movement. What is happening right now with Philly? They gotta do something, man. You see oh, that? What, okay. what was the play? What was the play though? You know, it was, it was the isolation. Player. It was the yeah. isolation, but I mean, at least he's going to the basket. You know what I mean? <laughs> like these guys, they they're not a great shooting team to just be relying on it. But if you're gonna have ISO, say like like Brunson when he goes ISO, you know, um, you gotta have people moving. You can't just have guys standing there, you know, waiting for, to get that corner three. That's oh, that's like you want to talk about modern style basketball. That that's a losing style. Guys, and, just and that goes I, that goes back to what you're saying with the Knicks a couple years ago when it was my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, and that's what it yeah. seems like Philly's doing. Yeah, definitely. Like um, guys like Reggie Bullock just standing there with his hands like this. You know, waiting for Julius to pass on the ball. That's 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 a loser style of basketball. Bobby Santiago, I'm ashamed to admit Tobias Harris is a New Yorker. Um <laughs> it, it's fine with me as long as he's not doing that stuff in New York. <laughs> yeah. He's from Hempstead, I think. Hempstead, Long Island. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right, Philly fighting. I mean, still down 11. Damn, man. Dang. <laughs> that was bam. <laughs> yep. 
And look at Khalid Martin. See Khalid Martin with, with the drive, and then you know Embiid is the one that fouled him. But why is Embiid in the second row? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. Khalid Martin, the way he drives, he know the contact is coming, so he'll take the foul. But he's gonna make you pay for fouling him. You know, that's a that's a beautiful thing there. Er, is that a goaltender? Was that going down? It looked like it. Embiid looked tight right now too. Time out yeah. called commercial That's break. So you, you know, remember yeah. when they were talking about MB, like a lot of people saying, Oh, we should trade for MB. What do you think about him at, at, in that scenario? Like trading to come to the Knicks? I think it's too big of a risk considering where we are so far. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like the fact that I believe that we could beat a uh, uh, uh MB led team. I, I like I like who we are right now. He's not the guy that I want to put all the chips in on the table for. In right. my opinion, I like how I, you know, what I mean, if we could retain Hartenstein and and keep Mitch, like I like our center tandem. I like the fact that they could legit split the minutes evenly on a on a night to night basis, and and we not really lose. Like we don't got to worry about when one guy's off the floor in comparison to the other. They don't give you the same things, but they both gonna impact the game while the you know what I mean in the minutes that they have, you know. So I I, I like what we have. I think it's too big of a risk, and, and I say that because how much can he say stay uh injury free? Right. You know to to compare too. Let's say like let's say like Ewing. Right when Ewing had it, you know, you, we we knew what we were getting from him, you know, at a certain at, at a certain point in the game, like the defense and stuff like that. Like I, I just don't like just watching him play, like and just knowing what centers are supposed to do. Like MB just just doesn't um give me that fear. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't like even though he he's won MVP and he and he can get all these these points and stuff like that. He he still doesn't seem like somebody that I want to run an offense through. You know what I'm trying to say? No, no, I I, I agree. Now now, granted. The fact that he'd be playing with Brunson, I think that's going to change, you know what I mean, change things. Yeah. It's not that I'm dead set against it. I, my thing is the risk assessment. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. for me personally, and, and, and maybe, you know, the, the current injury changes things, and I'm not even a, fa- a big fan of him, but I would be more inclined for Carl Anthony Towns than Joel from just from the aspect of that injury risk is, is, it's a big risk. You know what I mean? Like whatever we got to give up to get Joel. And then the fact that he could get hurt and miss a season, you you, you know what I mean? And granted, it can happen to anybody, but the likelihood or the risk of it is higher. I think with him. Yeah, I get it. You know, Carl Anthony Towns, he, he got I, hurt too, you know, but I, I just, I just think like say Carl Anthony, I think he would fit better with what Tom Tibble is trying to do. Like as far as like him getting the ball and letting it go. Rather, rather than just holding it and just doing mm-hmm. what we're seeing here, you know, I, I don't, I don't think Cat would do that if he was here. And and, and, and does he make more though, or will he be? He, will he be making more next come next year? I know sure, his contract know is crazy. Yeah, his contract is nuts. Like, like once that extension kinks in, that that con- he's well over fifty a, a year, right? Coming coming next year. Because I think he's at 36 yeah, I, I now. Is it like 70? I, I know it's some crazy number. I don't know why 71 yeah, keeps look it up. coming up in my head, but that's the thing that turns yeah. me off with Cat. <laughs> yeah. He's nuts, too. <laughs> you know, he's freaking nuts. <laughs> Yo, what is up with and calling think, the and, I, and, I, and I think we we would have to uh move Randall and then it becomes a lateral move, in my opinion. It doesn't upgrade us. I don't think he's better than Randall. Now, if he's playing with Randall Brunson, you know, that, that's a different dynamic. Yeah. Well, Uh-oh. I was gonna say about you know his voice. The, the Carl Anthony Towns always changing his voice when he talks. That's weird, man. <laughs> You know, like like during the game, he's like, "Yeah, man, I was playing so hard during the game." But then in, in an interview, he's like, "Yeah, that's all." You know, I don't know, guys. You know, like like why does he change his voice? That is so weird. It it might it might depend on who he's talking to. So, but Batum just hit a big three, fifty nine, fifty one. 
he wow, ta- turn he it turned it over and a fast break opportunity was that a block was that a goaltend yeah i think they call goaltending wow that's i, I want to see that replay yeah that's rough I, I don't think it hit the backboard before he blocked it yeah, we're gonna yeah it didn't that. look it didn't look like it in real time oh they didn't show yeah. no replay they're gonna make us wait <laughs> Uh, let's see what else is going on in the chat here. Uh, Elijah Moore says he's shooting um fadeaway jumpers with that body and the guy. Was it? Was it? I don't know. With what the, that with, the, with the guy on on him, I, I, it's a typo. Oh, it's just okay. On, on the guy on him. Okay. Yeah. Is a buck fifty, a hundred fifty, hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, attack the rim. He's talking about Joel and B shooting jumpers instead of attacking the rim. Yeah. I see. Is I this see next live. He says, That's "Salute my guy, Eru and Crow. Salute. Appreciate you." You know Julian Bloom, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Julian Bloom right there. Next live. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Salute. Appreciate you. Harlem CEO, CEO in the building. Yeah. That's a smooth he, he business, said, man, just, in the business he, man. He said, I'm just checking to see who you guys are going for. <laughs> uh, I'm not rooting for anyone. You, you know what I mean? My, my, my preference has been Miami. But I ain't gonna fret as they ease closer to the victory. It it, it, it kind of turns my stomach. So you know what I mean. I think there's things to pull away from both both these guys' performances, though. So you know, low scoring game, fifty nine, fifty three. Philly, this is on um, probably the best stretch that I've seen throughout the game so far. Yeah, they strung together, you know, a couple of baskets in a row couple of stops in a row yeah like like you mentioned um when what's the name hit the three uh you're talking about batum that was their mm-hmm. first breakthrough of the game they, they haven't had yeah. a, a play like that the whole game yet so far <laughs> so we'll see how they build off that and 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 you know to your point they, they've started to because it was the three it was a turnover a layup turnover layup yeah. so so well we're, we're not sure it, I'm assuming that last one counted, right? And it was a yeah. goal ten. Yeah, they might review it. They might be reviewing it now. We missed so, something. You know, yeah, it's 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 a perfect time right now for for Miami because they're like, you know, as as um as that player that you, that the other team is going on a run, you make your, your little timeout and then you make your adjustments, whatever. So we'll see how Miami um comes back after this break here. Oh, oh. We're about to show it right now. It's the platoon three. That's the stop. That's the layup. Oh no, this is the oh yeah. Oh, it did hit the it. backboard. Yeah. It did hit the backboard. All right. So goaltending called. Six point game. Nice run by Philly. You know what's distracting about the game? I can see the crowd. You know the Philly, the Philly, um, you know telecast. I can actually see the crowd. You know, like when when you're watching the Knicks, I don't notice yeah. the crowd really, but I I can legit see the crowd out there. I can see the people with their drinks in their hands. I can see what they're drinking. <laughs> it's I don't know if it's, it's the lighting or how they do it. It it is because um, MSG is is set up, um, and I think there's only about two or three arenas that do that, but MSG is set up where the crowd is dark. And and, and yeah. the spotlight is on the court, you know what I mean? So it's really like a stage for, for um the athletes. You, oh. know, you know what I mean? That that's that's one of the things that makes them the garden the garden is it really feels like you on you know like a Broadway stage. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like the darkness in the crowd, you can't see the faces, and but everybody can see you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um so it must have hit a three, cut the cut the lead to three. Uh, Miami just missed the shot, and B bringing the ball up the floor. Oh, 
I thought Platoon was going to pull that one. Who's that, Buddy Hill? Buddy yeah. Hill misses the three that would have tied it. Um, it, it looks like it's getting a little bit more physical. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, just now, Embiid and um and Bam just had a little scuffle there. Mm. Heavy contact there on the jump shot. Yeah, Bam falls to the floor. He wanted a foul. You know, sometimes the refs do it to themselves. You know, they they kind of let the game get like that. You know, they don't they make a couple they they don't they miss a couple fouls. There goes Batum with another three. Yeah, big one. Yeah, they miss a couple fouls and then it, it escalates into something else, and then they then they start blowing the whistle for no reason. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta get it under control. You let it get out of control. Yeah. It's a big rebound. Who that? Butler. Another Damn, big rebound. It. Butler again wide open. Yep. Hits that one. 64-59. That was a tough opportunity. A, a tough rebound right there. Yep. Even tougher shot. So I mean, is that playoff basketball there? The the way how how methodical everything is going? Um, you could tell the stakes are high up between again. All right. That was a heat check. Feel like JJ um, from Good Times just now. <laughs> the way he shot that, he just was like, mm, like that, you know. Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could tell that the 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 physicality has increased. There's another one, no call yeah. made. You, you know, the know. um intensity has increased. Philly finally looks like they got a pulse. Did you see that just now? All those little ticky tack fouls that they didn't call, and then they called. They finally called that last one just now. That's ridiculous, man. That's the, that's that thing that drives Tibbs crazy. Yeah. He's like, I don't care how you call the game, just call it consistent. You know, Jesus Christ, <laughs> for Christ's sakes, Obi, hey, Obi. <laughs> you think he still yells that sometimes, like he like randomly? <laughs> Yeah, he probably does. Yeah, I just want to see Tom Thibodeau happy, man. You know? Yeah. It it it, it is a pleasure to see him smile as, as yeah. rare as you as you. This is the most I've ever seen him smile though this year. Oh, yeah. Maxi attacking the rim. That's what yeah. you need to do. There's Jimmy a lot of contact on that play there. Oh my no goodness. Ball. Wow. They let they letting him go right now. Maxi again. <laughs> no, no foul. What's going on here? The referees are bugging out. Yeah, I know the players is tight right now. They going crazy. Bet you they call foul on this one. Wow, no call there. They, there you go. That's a foul, right? Yep. They they can't let it go that long. Maxi got smacked in the head on that play though. Definitely. So are the, are the refs racist or something? Because I mean, they they um they you know nobody else is getting no foul calls, but then the light skinned guy gets gets fouled and they they give them they give him the foul shot. That should have been an and one. Yeah. Look, look at Max. Got hit in the head. Great to cross his head. Oh, and he switched hands. That's dope. Yeah. I don't think he did that on purpose. I think the ball no. slipped out of his hand. He tapped it with the other hand. Oh, here come my cat. <laughs> What's your cat's name again? Mary Jane. Mary Jane, right, right. You know. Or or MJ, you know. I got you. And contrary to popular belief, I did not name her. That was the name that she was given before she was given to me. It just so happened to be fitting. Did, did she did she come with with like a a, a twenty sack too? Did she come? With one? <laughs> Is that like that's how you got her? Hey, let me get a twenty sack. Hey, if you get the twenty sack, man, you got to take my cat. Oh, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe she, she came from a twenty sack. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just what joking. The, <laughs> just joking. The... Nah, she was a she was a gift um from my daughter. Okay. 
you know. Yeah, so this is weird. definitely like, a slow paced game, man. What were what you gonna say? No, no, um, I, I was gonna say, um, it's pretty weird. Look at uh Kelly Uber. Pretty weird where your child gets you a pet. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Um the shooter. Oh healed. He just yeah. got an easy layup. No resistance. What's he yeah. arguing? Did they not count it? I don't know. He can't think he got fouled. There wasn't nobody there. <laughs> Yo, leave it to NBA players, man. They think everything is a foul, no matter what's happening, man. It's crazy. Yo, he got some teeth oh, on they him, got man. A, he got a, they call it a tech? On who, though? I'm assuming Buddy Hill, because he was the one with the ref. Like in the in the in the ref's face. I don't. I mean, see that was why, like a man. passive aggressive call. What the hell, man? Yo, what's up with Buddy Hill's teeth, man? Um, it kind of got Draymond teeth. <laughs> his teeth don't match his head. Oh, it was the delay mm. of game tech? I don't see else. Oh, man. okay. They um, I think they only had extra large. <laughs> but it's, but it's deep. Yeah, it was that. It was out of medium. So, but he's from the Bahamas too. So you know, you know, what I'm saying. So they, that's probably all they had. You know, <laughs> so he was sold out of mediums. He sold out of large. We got extra large and double XL. Which ones you want? Batum just hit another clutch three just now. All right. So now Miami can't score. All right. 68 of 66. How about that? Old man Batum. <laughs> Shoot, and they lost um Robert Coverton for the year. And and, and I always like Robert Robert Coverton. Yeah, he should have been a Nick years ago. Yeah. Nicholas Batum. How old is that cat now? It's got to be like 38 or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Joel, 35. Joel. 35. Oh, He's wow. been in the NBA 15 years. That's probably why. Wow. What the hell, man? Give the ball up. I mean, going to shoot over, a double, shoot over a double team and save you with a rebound. There you go. Attack. T- no turnover. Yeah, that's the issue there. The center facing up like that, doing um, you know, hero <laughs> steps and stuff like that. That's a bad thing. Who that? Kevin Love, of course. Yeah. It's an old man versus old man. What is Philly doing right now? Nobody's moving. Everybody's standing in one spot. So they're looking to get the last one of the last shots anyway. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seconds left. Corner three. Oh, wide open. <laughs> That's Ice yeah. Age right there, Cameron Payne. <laughs> That's an ugly they, dude, man. Can they get a stop? Stop the quarter really with momentum. Nope, another wide open three. Who's that? The uh, the dude that hurt Randall. Yeah, Vasquez. Yeah. 74 to 69 in the third quarter. Oh, the leg game tech CEO had responded. Yeah, look at that. The um MB is bugging out. That, that's some Harlem CEO. He says uh, MB is bugging out, not playing defense. He's he's ex- he's playing a lot like Julius. You know how Julius they say, like, oh, he don't play defense, he's not playing with effort. Look, look at him, look at him on display, all he's doing. That's exactly what what, uh, what he's doing. I agree. Yeah. I just, I'll just uh, say old Julius. Yes, old Julius. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, he was making a point about the centers. You know, it, like, like you, you need your centers to to be able to do the dirty work. So, like, your center can't be the guy getting thirty points. You know, if he's not going to do dirty work. The thing with Ewing, Ewing would get thirty points, but he will also have fifteen rebounds and he will have seven blocks too. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Especially mm-hmm. in big games. You know, so he's gonna do the dirty work, and then then you need to then you will have to have an enforcer next to him to help him out. But um, the, the NBA they don't play that way. You know, they don't play with and, the extra enforcer. 
and you gotta be comfortable with it. Like that's one thing that I will give Jokic. You know what I mean? Like as much as he plays outside, yeah. Let that. Let him miss two shots in a row. He going right to the paint. You know what I mean? He going yeah. right to the post up. Let me get a couple easy ones. Punish, punish, punch. All right, boom. Like yeah. It seems like as much as Joel can do it, he just don't seem like he comfortable in the paint. Like he don't want to. Right. Yo, it's great you mentioned Joker. Joker would get the ball. He would get the ball off the rim and run it down court, get into the post, and, and abuse the guy and score. You know what I'm saying? And B is like he just doesn't have that in him. He doesn't have that 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 um anger thing about him. You know. Yeah, he's definitely oh, man. different, man. I mean, there's I nothing. Want... I, I will say, there's nothing I've seen so far that that makes me feel like we have a lesser chance of beating either one of either one of these teams. Isn't that a weird place to be, though? That we're looking at these guys playing, we're like, eh, you know, hmm. what a what a place of of what, what do you want to say? A privilege. We're standing in a place of privilege <laughs> right now. We're looking at these guys. Hey, look at these guys. King of the castle. Who's gonna win? La 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 la. la. You know. It's, yeah, it's like it's like we gotta buy in a sense. You know. Yeah. How dare us stand on our high horse, looking down on these guys like this? You know, how dare we have the audacity after 20 yeah. years of losing? How dare us? You know why, though? Because we had to climb to get to this spot to be able to look down on them. You know what I mean? Like, we had to, we had to, we started right, right where, well, we started below where both of those teams are currently. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you want to keep it a buck. So we, 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 um, we did our journey and now we up here and we can look down. <laughs> It's a, it's a place of privilege, but we, you know, what I mean, it wasn't given; it was earned. Yeah. Uh, who's that? Nick Nurse bench scoring first half, seven points. Third quarter, nineteen bench points. Uh oh, start it. <laughs> right, from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah, now we're here. Yeah. All right, it's it's turning out to be a close one after all. You know, a yeah. chippy one. A five point game. Part of me. Three three point game. Philly, Philadelphia. Philly second bucket. That's his second bucket, Kelly. You bring. Oh man! All right, what are y'all gonna do? Almost a backcourt. Hmm. Oh, wow. nice, nice contest. All right, F Philadelphia. They fighting. A chance Miami's to uh, so come within one or or tie. No, no, no. Who's that? Oh, B for three. I don't, I don't mind those when you wide open like that. Tie the yeah. tie ball game. Sheesh. Tie ball game. I don't mind them when you wide open like that. I mind you shooting over two defenders. Right. Uh, he should have just let it go out. That would have been a bucket just now. Hmm. And B, who's guarding him? That's Kevin Love's man. Um, in that play, yeah. But overall, they've been doubling him. You know what I mean? They, I mean, and you know what? That might be the shot they want him to take, because they're doubling him anytime he's, you know, free throw line or or, or lower. Yeah. Look at homie. Yeah. Look at the old guy right there with the the Sixers jersey. See him behind the ref. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. Dude? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one. Of, I think he's one of their oldest fans or whatever. He's always like sitting baseline. It's a, a staple to 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 the organization. Yeah, it was like turnover after turnover. They, they both still sloppy. Yeah, both team. The, the, neither neither team know what they want to do right now. <laughs> All 
Wow. Kevin Love with a three. Sheesh. Nope. That was a bad shot. Offensive rebound. Hero for three. Missed. Here comes Philly. But he heal inside with lay. He blows the layer. Wow. Oh man. my gosh. Cross court pass. That is yeah. um. Who's that? Randall's up. Get the rebound. Mm -hmm. oh. Who's that? Randall. Love. Yep. Yep. It's going back to his youth on that one. Ah. This is crazy. I don't. I don't like it because I mean they're playing small, right? So you got guys like Delon Wright that are that are attacking the offensive board, slapping it out. You know, I, I you know I just don't like the like the way that looks. You know, I I rather have a traditional big man out there. You know, got let guys do their thing. You know, I get it though. Yeah. You know, it's more about points and shooting threes and stuff like that. I, get... I mean, when 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 you can't when you can't secure the 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 um the rebound and as the last last result. You know what I mean? There's three guys around you. If you could tip it away from them, but I, I hate the people that don't attempt to grab the rebound. You know what I mean? Like, right. Like so, Hartenstein mean, you know, is good at picking when to tap it out because there's, yeah. there's some guys around him, and when I could just go grab it, go get it. But you know, Hartenstein is more. He he does like control slaps. Like if he's gonna slap it out, he knows that he that, that he yes. where it's going. You yes. Know? Kind of like, you know, remember Tyson Chandler used to get credit for that? All the slap outs he used, to, he used to get. He used to always slap it out to the open player, you know? Tie ball game. Yes. Who's that, Hero? Oh, yeah. they call a foul? Oh, Ube better chill out. He <laughs> saw <So> the ref. <laughs> the ref said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got one more fist bump, bro, buddy. <laughs> you got one more <laughs> fist bump. It's annoying because he's reaching in. Come on, man. You're reaching in like crazy. You think they're not going to call a foul? He's like, listen, we're not calling fouls at the rim. Yeah. <laughs> on the perimeter, we got to call that, bro. See? Man, they ain't call that bump on MB. MB. Yeah. Oh, Maxi. They're working way too hard, man. Oh, look at this guy. Who's that? Another Batum? clutch three. Yeah, man. Okay. Another clutch one. That's that experience. He's the star of the show right now. He he's um what what is he? Five for seven for three right now. All right. That's and and this is great because you know if if, if they and that's the lead, right? Yeah, three point yeah. lead. If 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 they pull this out, that's something we gotta look out for. We know what we know what I don't think he's taking a shot other than a three. Who's his assignment? Who's guarding him? Um, think, they might be, they switching. might be doubling off of him. Yes, I think I think that's what it is. Because I mean, I, I don't know what Miami's doing. It seemed like they're packing the paint because they because um Kevin Love kept getting caught stuck in the paint. You know when guys shooting shooting out there, NB quarter three that same way. Yeah, I know I'm getting old, man, because I see guys at the end of the Philly bench. I don't know who the hell those kids are. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know who the hell they are. They all look the same, too. They all got the same hairstyle. It's Ricky Council. I only know that because I've been watching Philly the Philly podcast. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, and, and he's like a, a young guy that they feel like should get Tobias Harris minutes. <laughs> okay. And he just got signed too. Um, I think he was like on a two way or something. No Batoon, way. Oh, I was about to say. I thought the other one was a heat check. He barely caught that before he put it up. Yeah. Shout out to Nurse, man. You know, Nurse. Um, you know, in the beginning of the season, it looked bleak for Philly. It looked, then it looked like they were gonna like have the season that they had. Because I mean. You know they, they still didn't have the seasons that they wanted, but they still was able to to stay afloat to the point where they're here. You know. Yeah. They still got a chance. Yeah. You know. And he's a um. I mean, he's a creative coach. That's one thing that we do have to look at. You know, whether we play 
Philly or or or, or um Miami, both well coached. You know what I mean? Like you can't take that away from them. Or, or, or I should say, you got to give. Spo is obviously known, but Nurse is a creative offensive coach. Yeah, he's locked in too. That dude, but Batum hit another three, fam. All right, all right. Can y'all make a statement here? It's eighty eighty two Philadelphia. They finally look like they. Oh, they, see, they they got some cohesion now. Nice lob yeah. pass to who is that? Buddy Hill. That was That's no way, Buddy Hill. Oh, I was gonna say, there's no way that was Buddy Hill <laughs> getting up like that. <laughs> uh, he wouldn't take the dunk unless they told him it was worth three point. There you go, too. So Miami's kind of imploding right now. Yeah, it looks like it. Philadelphia still with the ball. Up four. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> Who does he think he is? You know, shooting, shooting like that. He must. He must have taken a sip from the fountain of youth. <laughs> he oh, stayed at the Holiday I Express seen that coming. I seen that coming. That was the first quarter play right there. Yeah. Butler with the steal for the fast break layup. Now he grimacing, of course. Not now his knee hurting again. Yeah, right. The drama. Play, playing possum. Jimmy Baller with a steal and layup off a bad knee. Oh, <laughs> who's that, Maxie? Yeah. Big bucket by Maxi. Four point lead, guys. Oh, it says one point game above on the, on the, on the live stream. So. Yeah. It looks like uh, Miami about to score then. Oh, that was a yeah. Yeah, we got like a twenty second delay. Big big three from Tyler Hero. He got some short arms. You you notice that compared to like the other players, his arms are mad short. Mm-hmm. That was one of the um the knocks on him in the in the pre draft or whatever, like the wingspan. Yeah. Like most NBA players, their their hands are like about about their knees, you know, like below sometimes below the knees, which is crazy. But Tyler Hero looked like his like he got like crocodile arms, you know, like he just <laughs> yeah, barely yeah. stick them in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, like he'll never pay for the bill, you know what I'm saying? Because he can't yeah. put his hand in his pocket. <laughs> can't reach my wallet, guys. Sorry. You know, I put my wallet in my pants pocket before I put my pants on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Remember they was getting on Brunson about the 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 shoe thing the 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 sock shoe sock shoe sock sock shoe shoe. Oh, you know what that's saying? what I never I I didn't I don't know I'm, I didn't understand what they said. So he puts his sock on and then the shoe, and then his other foot puts the sock and then the shoe. And most people yes. would put this both their socks on first. I get it now. I didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> that's psycho. You, you, do you, you ever get caught doing? I've never done that in my life. I I gotta put both socks on first and then put. Then put the shoes on. You know, he like he he literally put sock and then shoe tied it up and everything. And then he had a bald naked foot. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is freaky. That is really, really, really scary, man, to me. They, they, and he said it's not like a every like it, it was it was just that time. Like he said it's not like a every like that's not like a routine of his. Bro, oh, never. Craig says, um, is it true bogey's out for Saturday? I didn't hear that. Well, look at the second one, the second um thing he said. Uh, let's see. Some people on Bleach Report are saying he had a procedure on his wrist. Interesting. Yeah, yeah he has some kind of like um they they, they went they were not saying um orthoscopic, but they're saying mm -hmm. that he has some kind of like procedure where they did go into his wrist to do something. You know mm. what I'm saying? So um you know he they they, they say he's going to give it a shot. You know for on the weekend. You know. So during the week here, I guess they're gonna be, you know, playing and see how it feels. So it'll probably be like a game time decision. I mean, it is. It's not a shooting hand, though. It's not a shooting okay. hand. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Well, there you have it, Craig, straight from Eru. 
<laughs> but I remember it though. I think he got hit. I, I, it might have been the last game. Uh, he might have got like cracked on his hand. He mm. reacted to it. I remember he was holding his hand. You know, at the end of the game, there he was. It was against. It was against Chicago. But then mm. he, I think he ended up hitting a clutch three point shot at the end. You know, so so you know, it's not going to affect sign. his jump shot. Yeah. Um, you asked me earlier about Jeff Teague's podcast. Have you got a chance to watch? Uh, I think it's called the OGs. Uh, Udonis Haslam and Mike Miller. Oh, Mike Miller. Yeah, I got to watch a little bit. Those guys are younger than us, man. But they act like they're they're old, way older. They act like they're sixty years old. It's like weird to me. I but mean, that's, like that's that's how it feels after retirement. You know what I mean? Like, like they like they get to retire young, so they you know what I mean. In 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 basketball age, they 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 OGs. They, you know what I mean? Um, no, but- it is a great show. It is a good show. I, I, I um obviously it's it's very Miami Heat and Florida, um, University of Florida bias. You know what I mean? Like th- those guys played together on on both of those teams. So, yeah. um, but great stories. I definitely have a a a, a bigger mis- uh, respect for Udonis. Um. You know, based off the podcast and his views. Oh, yeah. stop the ball. Jesus. This guy, oh, look at that offensive That's going to kill you every single time, bro. Wow. Wow. Did you see Bam out of holding Embiid so he couldn't defend that play? Yep. Yep. He is dirty, bro. That's right in front of the refs. What the hell? I wish I could rewind yeah. that. Yo. Let me find out. They they just gonna the guy that hurt Randall is just coming up big, yo. <laughs> oh, he's bouncy now. You see his hair flapping. Uh huh. Nah, he is not. They going back to him? No. Oh. Wow, he taking some big shots. That was on B two. No slapping of the ball. Another one. Philly down Man, three now. Yep. We ain't crunched yep, on them. They might they might have they might have crumbled their opportunity. Like, like the heat heat look like they got that look in their eye. Tobias is trash. Oh. He is trash. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they better not re-sign him, bro. He's a free agent, Tobias? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, they, yeah, that's that was five years. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, that's your last opportunity. What y'all gonna do? Mm, Look block. at Batum. Oh. Wow. What the <laughs> With the off head. Put back Yo, off of Maxi Miss Batum with the yeah. with the uh with the one hand tapping this, falling out of bounds, and he couldn't like his other hand, he couldn't use it. <laughs> Look, he didn't even oh, look nice. at the rim, man. He didn't even look at the rim. Oh my god! Nice. Um, somebody like- asked another question. Craig, he says, without Bogey, I don't know, man. We need scoring from the bench. I think we we do need scoring from the bench, but I don't think Bogey had peaked yet to the point where we were relying on his bench scoring yet. You know what I mean, like. I, I think he's, you know what I mean? Like, so I think we could withstand it for, you know, a game or two. Somebody's going to need to step up. Deuce. I mean, that's 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 who got my vote. What about we, Burks? We know he's capable. What about Burks? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> if I hadn't seen what I have seen since he's been back on the Knicks and I was basing this off of what he previously did on the Knicks, I would be all for it. But he has been bad, you know, since yeah. coming back to the Knicks. He's capable, though. I, I, you know what I mean? And he'll probably get an opportunity if Bogey can't go. So yeah, I wish we would have. We would have had. We would. We would have given Shake a, a chance. A chance. You know what I'm saying? Or like, you know, in hindsight, maybe not trade it for Burks and and then just sign Shake. You know, because Shake was was at home. You know, chilling yeah. before we signed him. You know what I'm saying? So. I think Shake would fit a little bit better because I mean Burke's always shooting off balance, man. That, that annoys the hell out of me. It does know? me too. 
It does me too. He's a good bad shot shooter. Yeah. And, and I say that when I say good, I mean through throughout his career. I'm not talking about right now. Yeah. He's had a good career though. He's been he's been around for a while. He's scored double figures a lot in his career, not just with the Knicks. He scored it, you know. So he's always been a good he's been a good ball handler for his size. You know, so he's a decent player. Bobby Santiago, Burks is going to shut us all up. You'll see. <laughs> I mean, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, you when know. it's playoff time, it's I, all hands on deck, right? And and I haven't been as vocal as a lot of Nick fans, so you know what I mean? Like, it won't be too much crow to, to eat. Yeah. I like our chances, though, man. The, the Knicks the Knicks have, uh, have a lot of um, big men. You know, so I'm I'm so happy that Precious got a chance to to, uh, to play well against Chicago. He basically mm-hmm. saved the game at the, at the end there. Mm-hmm. I think it was an offensive rebound Lots, or a layup. Rebounds, yep. Yeah, down the stretch. So I mean, you know, yeah. against against Miami and against Philly, I think having him with Mitch Robinson off the bench along with Bogey and um and Deuce, that's a great back um you know um you know rotation there coming off the bench. I agree. You know? And it's it, it is you know a, it's still a situational thing, it's just not the same situational as as we're used to, because now right. you know Tibbs, I mean, yeah Tibbs you know Tibbs trust him, you know what I mean? It's just when does he feel like he need needs him and when does he not? Yeah, we definitely gonna need him. This guy OG don't rebound, man. We can be finishing games with three rebounds, four rebounds in games. It's just it's no good for somebody his size. That's true. Thank God Josh Hart rebounds the ball, you know? Oh, who's Man, in the game, game is... now? Yo, they really... I was about to say, they really going to the guy that hurt Randall. Like, he the, he the guy down the stretch. <laughs> Hero just chucked up a three. Larry chased down a rebound. Larry. Such a Larry play. Look at Batum. What? <laughs> That's an N1? Yeah. You know, he's leading. I think he's leading all scores. Wow. He's leading six all for, scores. He has like 20. Six 20. For 10. Yep. Wow. He had 20 points, man. <laughs> no foul. <laughs> Oh, they didn't count it. Who's this? Who's this? Who's... Oh, they didn't count it. Yeah. Damn. So they they literally got Vasquez running the point right now. That's wow. crazy. It's a lot of confidence in that man. Yeah. Look at um Spolster. He looks like a cycle. <laughs> Right? This looks like a crazy, crazy dude, man. So um I asked you about the OG podcast with, with um Udonis Haslam and, and and Mike Miller. So they had their last episode, they had uh Joe Kim Noah on there, right? So you know right. I had to watch it, even though his time with the Knicks wasn't great. You know, I yeah. still wanted to see his perspective. Um, but it was it was great because they got to talk about what you just said, like they was like, yo, t- um, I'm sorry, um, Spocia is a psycho. You know what I mean? They talked about his coaching, his philosophy, all that, and, and, and the things he knows, such and such and such. But it was funny when they started talking um, about Tibbs or, or Joe Kanoa brought up Tibbs and, and it said the same exact thing. He was like, yeah. you know, he's a, he's a psycho, like for real, for real, <laughs> like basketball psycho. So I, I just thought it was funny. Um, you know they cut like I said they cut from that same type of cloth and you know you know what's crazy too I, I think that um, Sposa had got married I, I think I, I think um, I don't know if I got the story right but but I think he was married right and before he got his extension they didn't give him his extension until his divorce was finalized mm-hmm. and then they gave him his extension that yep. is crazy to me man yep. that's so I don't got, wow I don't gotta give you half all right <laughs> that clutch, is crazy clutch free th- yeah yeah, that that's that's you know that you know that was a uh that was a godfather move right there. Hell oh, yeah. turnover. 
Oh, and Embiid. Embiid. Wow. I mean, that's a big shot right there, man. Yeah, and beat up by three. There you go, my cat chasing the ball on my TV now. <laughs> uh, you know how that went last <laughs> yesterday when we was on the phone. Wow. You see that? To buy, um, what's, um, I'm about to call him the white boy again. <laughs> that's crazy. Tyler Hero with a clutch street right, right, right back to back. 94 to 93. Two oh, minutes, man. By one. Yeah, clutch Two time. Who's this? Tyrese. Batum. Oh, pull up. Nope. And Big B with the rebound. Oh. And one. And the foul? They caught a foul? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Look at the Philly coming fans. up big. Yo, the Philly fans look like the Attack of the Clones. I feel like everybody in the crowd looks exactly the same. <laughs> Am I bugging? The whole crowd looks exactly the same. It's like like an NBA 2K um crowd. I mean, it's it's because they're like on the edge of their seat right now. Yeah. Oh. Wow, man. Made them both two point game. Yep, one possession. Bam. Who we got then? Who Tyler? Butler. Hi no, Smith. Wow. Oh, okay. They do the have confidence tired. in that kid. Got to put the ball into the closest hand, Batum, right? I mean, wow. Oh, and B went to the best. Oh, damn. Wow. Damn. He looked way off balance. That's why he be getting hurt, yo. But you can't be missing those point blank shots like that. That's crazy. So Nostalgic Nick says, who's up? Uh, on the screen, I'm not sure, sure you can see it. Is it, it that is the correct score? Ninety six to ninety six. Wow, minute minute left in the game. Ninety uh, fifty eight seconds on our clock. Mm. It's clutch time. The guy didn't. The guy. Oh, oh. he stepped out. He stepped out of bounds. Yeah, oh, he, he that court. Wow. Man, I'm That's surprised. A big turnover. I'm surprised you've seen that. Wow, look at that. Mm, right there. Stepped on the six instead of the seven. <laughs> <laughs> look at Larry. Larry looks like a WNBA player. Big turnover by Miami. 43 seconds left. Tie game. Joel at the three-point line. Throws it inside. Wow. Who's that? Kelly? Yeah, yep. Kelly. That's his third Kelly bucket of the game. Oubre. That's a look at this pass though. Right through the foop. That's exactly yeah. what you was talking about um earlier too. With Joel's ability to pass pass the ball. Yeah. Mm. Now he is sweaty. Yo, Kelly Oubre, you got to make his free throw. Okay. He did. He did. Three-point Three game. Point you know a timeout coming. Yep. Timeout. All right. You're the coach. You're the coach right now of Miami. What What, what you doing? It's a, it's a three-point lead, and you got 35 seconds left. What are you doing? 35 seconds. Oh, no. It's four. Oh, you saying if it was 35 seconds? No, I'm saying it, right now it's um it's 36 seconds right now. Timeout. Miami. Miami has a timeout. I mean, Miami's gonna get the ball back. So, what is Miami doing? Being down by three. Uh. Do you ride with Butler, or do you go to your best three-point shooter? So you're going for a three, immediately. I think so. I think I am. Or I mean, quick, quick two, quick two, first. Quick two. You know what I mean? Quick yeah. two first. But if a three opens up and it's for Tyler, if it's for Kevin Love, I put him back in. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't hesitate to give up that that three to, 
know what I mean? Or give the get the three up. But look for a quick, quick two first. The yeah. problem is Philly's tall. You know what I mean? Like a quick two has to be undefended. You know what I mean? You got Embiid, you got Batum, you got Ubre who, who who could defend. All three of those guys are capable. The thing with that, like like um Philly, Philly might actually let Miami score the two because you don't want to foul. That's true. That's you know true. So if they let them foul, then 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 uh Philly we get the ball back. So they'll be in control. So then Miami, we we either have to foul, you know, or um or something like that. The a nightmare right now will be um a miss and a rebound because too much time will come off mm-hmm. the clock. Yeah, the, the, whatever they do, they need to do it quick. Yes, for sure. All right. So they chose to give it the oh, Already that's that's too slow. That's yes. already that's too slow. They're not getting into their motion. Three wow. uh, black black three by Batum, right? I think Batum yeah, black three Tyler uh, Hero three. And they got a foul. foul. Yep. Yep. Player of the wow. game for Philadelphia. Unsung hero. Nick Batum. Mm. Wow. I'm surprised by Spolster, bro. Because I mean, we like that, that was a purpose. Of, like we we talked we talked it out. So you said three point shot at first, but then then you said nah, nah, quick two. So I'm thinking they were gonna do quick two also, but they chose to to bring it out and have a set and of screen for, for um him to go. Yeah, yeah, a slow a slow setup into for the offense. Right now, granted, it's still it's still what 20, 24 seconds, but but now it's a two possession game now. Exactly. With 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 you know, 24 seconds thing. So they got to get the ball down. Come on, man. Push. Okay, they have, they don't know what they, okay, quick two. Oh, All quick right. two. So you think they foul right away? Or Philly's calling timeout? Uh, Philly call timeout. Yeah, they, I mean, now it's go for steal and, and, and quick foul. You got to. You got no choice. Yeah. Wow, man. Three point lead. What a closeout by Miami. I mean, by by yeah. Philly. Yeah, I thought they were done in that first half. They looked like they had nothing, man. I think Miami, you know, what once um once you lock down on them, they 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 like they don't know where the shot is coming from, you know. Mm. And they they actually put the ball in Vasquez's hand, which is surprising, right? Have him out there. Yeah, lockdown the 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 quarter. Yeah. <laughs> That's bugged out to me. But, you know, they're a different team if if Terry is available, though, you know? If Agreed. Terry's available, you know? Because if Vasquez wouldn't be in the game, you know, making plays, that would be Terry all day, you know? Agreed. I mean, and and I'm not saying his name. The guy that hurt Randall, he... <laughs> <laughs> he, he's he played well, you know what I mean? In 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 those moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, he probably about fifty percent, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and actually running the right play or whatever the case, being effective, getting to the line. Yeah. So this game is running long too, man. Well, the game is almost over, but it's running kind of long right now. Nine forty-five. Oh hell yeah! What is it? Nine thirty-eight. I got. Yeah. All right, big play here. Inbounds. Wow, timeout. <laughs> Three point game. Look at look at uh, Batum's face. Who who was the inbounder? Batum. Yeah. He's smiling like yo. I had no choice, bro. I ain't taking no chances. Mm. You know, that's the issue Wait. with the Knicks. The Knicks can never get the ball in bounds. You remember, uh, well, I want to say last year in the playoffs, it might not even have been the playoffs. It might have been a regular season, but we had this game we lost, and it was like, um, oh, why does Brunson keep bringing, um, inbounding the ball? And then the very next game, Another Nick inbounded the ball and it ended up being a turnover. And he was like, Oh, that's why Brunson inbounded the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we wanted we wanted Brunson not to inbound it so the ball could be passed directly to him. 
Um, right. but we we learned quickly. Oh, scrappy defense. Oh, my bad. I got it up on my TV up too now. <laughs> So they gotta go the full length of the court. Um, oh no, it's still they might have they might have elected they might have elected. Oh, they just spread themselves out. Yeah. Oh, he can't get it in. Oh, inside the Lowry, Lowry falls to the floor. Look look at that pass. Wow. So if he makes a free throw, game is over. Yeah. Mary Jane. If he make, I, I gotta say, if he makes, if he makes both free throws, the game is over. Stop. My bad. It's still a two possession game here with um only eight seconds left. Two possessions is tough. Sixteen seconds, I see. So he's, I think he's gonna make both. Ah, yeah, Ice the game. My bad. Hold, hold on. I gotta get up for a second. Mary Jane, get down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. It goes Vasquez full length of the court now, looking to get something up here. Turn around, jump shot, knocks it down. So that's the score there, one hundred to to one hundred three. So Kelly Oubre blew the blew the free throws. It goes Philly inside. They get fouled right away, so that that leaves it at the eight second mark. So, Maxi going to shoot some free throws. I'm looking ahead, eight seconds left here. Maxi's going to knock down both free throws, it seems like. So, you guys can see it on the screen there, 105 to 100. Wow. Looks like we play in Philly, game. man. Play of the game, Nick Batum. Yep. And we know we got to look out for that from him. Uh, he shot mostly three-pointers all game. Yeah. Had a nice putback layup that they needed, absolutely needed at the time. Yeah. I think he had five assists or five rebounds, one or the other. Philly it is. I mean, I will say I do think they are not the tougher matchup. Yeah. Yeah. But you know Miami could just couldn't score. I don't know what, what was up with that. But you know they're missing their their start their starting point guard though. You know got to definitely got to keep saying that. You know Terry Rozier, that's twenty points right there. Well, we had our best defensive game of the year against Philadelphia, right? Yep. Shout out to Sim. We did that losers oh. round. The 79ers. I think we held yes. them to 70, 79 points. Yeah. But the game before was the watch along. I mean, not the watch along. It was the it was the um the game that we went to as a it was um mm-hmm. right. That's right. It was like the worst game we ever went to in our That's lives, right. man. Oh my god, we should have beat them that game. We had a great time, but we lost. Got to meet Andy. Shout out to international Andy. Yeah, no doubt. That's it. So that that was one of the worst games I've ever seen. That was crazy. Wow. So now uh, Miami has to play either the Hawks or the Bulls. Yeah. I hope Miami gets bumped now. (laughs) Well, then again, I think they're the toughest opponent. I do want Boston to play their toughest opponent, too. I don't want a cakewalk for them. Do you think Atlanta or Chicago could give Boston any trouble? Well, if Chicago plays the defense that they played against the Knicks in the last game, they're going to give them a run for their money. But I think, you know, once once Boston is fully healthy with all the three-point shots that they throw up, man, it's tough to beat those guys, man. Too many threes. What's going on? What's Nick Nurse fuming about? Oh, like... They're getting a free throw for some reason. Yeah. Well, now they need a four point play. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Oh, they called it. They called a foul before the inbounds. 
that's a good call. He Look, literally he grabbed, grabbed him. him though. Yeah, he grabbed him. And then he's like, oh, oh what I mean. Oh, what I do? <laughs> oh, don't be don't go from hero to scapegoat, bro. <laughs> Four Look point play. This. Three. Ooh, oh, that's it. Rebound. Oh, and Tyler Hero for three. Oh, he knocked it down. It's 0. 0.3 yeah, seconds. But... Oh, it's out of bounds. Oh, <laughs> oh they, they said game's no over. No, no. Oh. Yo, could you imagine if it went out of bounds and gave them a chance <laughs> to shoot it? What the hell? Oh, oh, look, look, look. They fighting. Oh, no, they're they they not fighting. Each other. <laughs> Tickle me again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. 104, 105. We thought it was going to be a dog fight. It wasn't a slug fest, but it was a dog fight. Yeah, 105 to 104. Don't get no closer than that. Sure don't. Look at Tyler Hero. He should have shot it with Batum in his face, though. Well, yeah, I think Batum, he jumped out the way because he was like, nope, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even going to give a chance to go. Uh, to cross up. Oh yeah, nah, he moved out the way. You're right. Yeah. You're right. He avoided the the potential four yeah, point play. He should have shot it right there and let let the contact. Yeah. That would have been crazy. That would have that yeah, would have been it right there. Foul and yeah. one. <laughs> Holy moly. And think about it. On platoon after after giving up the technical uh, uh, yeah. the the you know what I mean after being a hero going to the scapegoat. Yeah. But we know our opponent. How you feeling? How you feeling, Iru? I'm feeling like that's who you wanted. Chicken. Barbecue that's chicken, yeah. Wanted. Shout out to to um Steph too. I got throw it in the, uh, under the bus too. She wanted um Philly also. She did. So I, she did. I, yeah, I, I think we have the big men to to go at it against MB. You know, um, I think we have the um our normal defense is built to stop a team like Philly because we want to pack the paint, you know, mm-hmm. and then run out on the shooters, you know. I don't think their shooters are good enough right now, but Toom is the one that killed them tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Maxi, I'm not really afraid of Maxi, but Maxi could score. But I think I, once the next okay. No, I was just gonna say I expect a better game from Maxi. Um, at least initial game one. You know what I mean? I, I don't know about series, but I expect him to play better than he did tonight. Well, he's gonna have to deal with DiVincenzo and, and um and and Deuce, and Deuce. two great defenders there. How do you think they're gonna defend us? You think they're gonna put Batum on him again on um on Brunson? I don't know because that was that ended up ugly for him, right? So they, you know, what I, mean? I think they have to reassess their strategy. The only problem is, I don't think they want any of their guards on Brunson. Like you, you don't want Mac. You, like I think their only strategy is Ubre, Batum. You know what I mean? These guys are known and better defenders. You don't want to maxi on them. You know what I mean? You don't want to limit Maxi's offense by making him have to play defense. You right. don't want Buddy Hield on him, who's not a defender at all. Right. Um, I could see Lowry playing some minutes on on Brunson. You know what I mean? That that might be um the initial initial um solution. But uh. Kavan says yes. He believes uh Batoon will be on Brunson. Almighty Finesse said Batoon is washed, but you know, they needed one game and they got it from him today. Oui, oui. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let me bring the oh, 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 hold up. My bad, Sim. I'll be right back. I gotta change the uh change the thing so we could get Sim in here. I think that works. That works. Boom. What's good, Sam? How you feeling? Yo. Yo, what's good, man? Um, I mean, I'm feeling good. You know, I I, I did want to face Miami, but it is what it is. I mean, I didn't want to face Miami because I thought they was the better, the worst team. Mm-hmm. You know, it was more. For, 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 for the, uh, the storyline. Yeah, the storyline, but you know, we we got either way. We had our work cut out for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Either way, work Kef- cut out. Kef- 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 Bergen says barbecue Philly cheesesteak. 
<laughs> We're going to find out, baby. We're going to find out. Hopefully I get a chance to get to one of these Philly games. Yeah. Yeah. That I forgot about that. That definitely opens an opportunity for myself as well. If, you know, if, 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 if I could afford it, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure we'll save a couple of dollars going to the Philly game. <laughs> For real, $500 to get into the garden mm-hmm. over there has got to be way cheaper to get into Philly. I gotta, gotta, I gotta, it's gotta be. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, we'll see how healthy Joel Embiid is. I mean, for him to get through this game, you know, now, you know, the, the thing is he has a couple of days, you know, has a couple of days to rest a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, you yeah, know. he'll he'll probably be um a little bit more r- ready um, uh-huh. from the start, you know, game one. Yep. He's got some good defenders to, to deal with, man. He got to deal with not only you know Hartenstein, he got to deal with, with Mitch. Uh, Mitch also, you know. Yeah. yeah. Precious, you know, a little bit. Yeah. O- OG. OG, OG, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, this this this, you know, definitely, he's definitely got some um. You know some people to deal with, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a great series. Yeah, it's going to be a really good series. You know what, what scares you guys the most about Philly? For me, is it's those outside shooters, like let's say, like uh, the Lowrys of the world, those guys like that, getting loose and you know getting hot real quick. Those are the guys that scare me. What about you guys? Uh, well, first off the off the back, um, a close a close game scares me, and, and that's partly because of like um. A guy like Larry and his experience, you know what I mean. And in in, in in a close game, he's very he's very. I mean, his impact wasn't there tonight, but he's capable of you know getting drawing a, a, a crucial foul or or coming up with a crucial charge or you know what I mean. Like right. he's very headsy. So in crunch time, it's really about Larry because he could be having a bad game and, and then just have a great moment. In, in the clutch um honestly that might be it yo because i think like if Embiid is at full strength and doing what he does i think we could he could have a, a mvp type series and we still beat him yeah um i guess the other thing would be Embiid and maxi in combination you know what i mean they, they've averaged 60 points uh this year as far as a tandem Right. So can we can we limit that? Can we drop that to under fifty? That's a that's a tall task, you know what I mean? But but or even fifty, you know what I mean? Thirty and twenty as opposed to thirty and thirty, you, you know what I mean? I I think we that that helps us win a series because their support and cast, you know, very similar to us. They have capable guys guys capable of scoring twenty on any night, but I don't think they have guys that can give it to them every night. What do you think, sir? So, so? uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm scared of the shooters. You know, uh, I mean, I'm afraid that they have guys that can step up, right? You know, because they, they do have some veteran guys out there. Um, Nicholas Batum, you know, we've seen him tonight. Um, uh, um, Tobias Harris, who, you know, he hasn't really stepped up a lot this season, but, you know, he's the type of guy that could step up. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you know, you, you know, I do think they have some guys out there that can that that can make some things happen. Like they have good supporting pieces. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I don't think they're as deep as the Knicks are. Um, you, you know, the thing about them, I think. I mean, you can say they have two like all star caliber players on the team. You know, with Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid, but I, I still think the Knicks have a stronger supporting cast. Yeah. I think when the going gets tough too, like guys like Harris and stuff like that, even like Kelly Oubre, Kelly Oubre talks a lot of junk, man. But then this game here, I mean, he was basically a non-factor for a big portion of the game. He only had three field goals, I think. Yeah, you know, but so. each of his six points were big baskets. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So it's, it's it's similar like to what I was saying with Larry. Larry, I think it, it, it applies more. But Oubre could not have a great game. He might come up with a big defensive stop or big uh, offensive three, or 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 you know what I mean, um, offensive whatever put back. Like he's capable of 
he's not afraid of the moment. You know what I mean? Whether he's playing horribly or, or great, he's still not afraid to take a big shot or have a big moment, a right. big defensive play. So I, I agree that they they um yeah, they, they got a lot of good role players. And it doesn't seem like anybody uh tries to play outside of their role. Uh, uh, right. Other than Harris, who plays, um, you know, below his, <laughs> below where his role should be. <laughs> I feel bad for him, man, because everybody's talking junk about about him, man. So, you know, he's from he's from Hempstead, Long Island, too. So it's kind of kind of feels bad that people talk about him. So so it's crazy, but he earns it though. Speaking Definitely. of which, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Salute, Dwayne. But um, yeah, I mean. I, I know Sim, you trying to do do something quick. So yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, unless Iru, you wanna you wanna add any tidbits or any last questions or discussions, we you know what I mean we could we could rack up out of here. I know you got a, a long schedule too, Iru. Jeez, I don't know what I was thinking tonight, <laughs> but yeah, I got another <laughs> part. Actually, I got a part at ten thirty, Sim, man. So I don't know if I'll be able to to do the stoop. Oh, so, okay, all right, yeah. nah, that's cool. Mm. But um, salute to the chat for sure. Jumping in here with with us, um, Iru is this is his thing. He does the watch along. So one, let me thank you, Iru, for for doing it and allowing me to uh to join you and, and stream it on my show. Yeah. Um, but this this was fun, man. This was fun. Shout out to the chat, everybody who jumped in, jumped out. You know what I mean? Checked in. Appreciate you guys as well. Yeah, it's like I have the night off because usually I but it's, it's me, so I'm just you know the whole game. So you gave me a kind of like the night off tonight. Well, I mean, I, I felt like I was still riding riding your uh, coattail, Paul. So it, it, it definitely, you know, salute to you for doing this alone all the time because I I, I couldn't imagine if, if I had to, you, you know what I mean? I mean, it probably would be a little bit easier because it's the Knicks, and, and I guess I could talk about the Knicks, but. It's it's a uh, it's a science to still engaging with the chat, watching the, the the game, and also talking to someone. So yeah, um, kudos to you because you do it all the time. Yeah, hold well on, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, anything you want to add, Sim? Before we no uh, man, what, what time uh, you trying to you you all set up already? I got, I got set up for to start at ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. All right, yeah, all right. and it'll be oh. quick. It's not gonna be crazy long. So what time do you think you're gonna do the the front stoop? Maybe ten four to eleven, maybe. Okay, cool. I, I think I might yeah, I might yeah. eventually get up in there. Yeah. So, yeah. so. and that don't have to be crazy long. Pause, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> no diddy, yeah. Um well, yeah, that, I mean, that give me a good 10 minutes to eat something. You know what I mean? I don't, don't want to be like, like Eru, you know what I mean? Or like myself last night. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm so sorry, Sim, for that, man. I was so hungry, man. I, I thought I thought it was just like we were about to set up and do the watch on. Yeah. yeah. Now it's all good. You ain't got to apologize for that. Yeah, I, was, I was like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, snap. Yeah. But that's why it was so funny to me because oh. remember I called you last night. Oh, I jumped in the, the, the stream to practice this thing. Yeah. And he was like, Oh, you jumped on all I heard was McDonald's. Yo, he was tearing that McDonald's up, man. I was like, Damn, do you need do you need some privacy? Like... <laughs> he was hungry. He was hungry. He had to be hungry. <laughs> it was a long day at work, and uh, you know. The funny thing is, I was in the I was in the chat backstage, so I was just I was in my own world eating. You know, what I mean? all I heard was it was told, "What's up?" I was like, "Oh, oh, <laughs> my bad." But um, yeah, man, appreciate everybody for jumping in. We know our opponent. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, what I mean, we're gonna talk about it on, on on ABK for a little bit. And um, yeah, man, things is things is settling in. Yeah, let's, man. Let's go, Knicks. Um, I'm not gonna do no outro, so we we we, we can skip it tonight. Like I said, Eru man is always a pleasure. Appreciate you, and um, you know, hopefully I see you later on on the stoop. Yep, no doubt. Peace out. All right, fellas. Um, again, shout out to the chat, man. We out. Your black is time. Peace.